Messenger? Yes. You don't answer yes, still glued to your seat. I expected you to jump up when you hear your name. Get up! And next time, it's not yes, it's yes ma to you. Anyway, here. Take that bunny. I need you to go to the restaurant, get me some fried rice, chicken, um, a bottle of juice and some water. Mm -hmm. And uh, I wouldn't want you to keep me waiting. I hate to wait. What did I say she get me? Fried rice and chicken. Was that all I said? And juice. Is that all? And the water. Good. Don't keep me waiting. In one sentence, can you explain the meaning of this nonsense? Um, um, I'm sorry, sir. I mean, it's my mistake. I'll fix you it. You should be sorry. Are you not a fool right now? For God's sake, you are a common, ordinary company messenger. And you should know your limits in this company. I'm sorry, sir. It's, uh, it's my mistake. I'm, I'm going to fix it. Of course you're going to fix it. By the way, where is Aki, the manager? Um, Mr. Aki went for lunch. Yeah! Hey! <laughs> oh my word. How's the world just that doing? I'm very well today. Hmm, how are you doing? Mm. Who is this guy? And why is that shouting him down? Damn, he's sexy. Ah, Dad. Now take this nonsense and get out of my office. Yeah. I'm sorry, sir. Animal. Dad, come on. Take it easy. No, I won't. I have a bunch of incompetent people around me here. Do you still have me? Your angel. Mm. <laughs> you have me sitting here. Always. <laughs> Thank you. How did it go? I actually told the manager that this thing I was doing wasn't really right. But he didn't listen. Now I went there and the MD poured out his whole aggression on me as if it was my fault. But I told you. I told you to allow the manager to take the proposal to him. But then he handed it over to you and went out for lunch. This whole thing is just staring. All because I, I'm just an ordinary messenger. Now I had to take all the insults. Look, I'm tired. I'm tired. I just feel like I just I just feel like living here. I'm tired. You just have to take it easy. And the MD is not even taking it lightly with us. Not even, even giving us credit for our efforts or something. See, I just wish I had a subsequent job or something to just go and do or somewhere. Look, I'm just tired. I feel like walking away from here, Peg. It's just stressing. Dad? Yes, my beautiful angel. Who was that and why were you almost screaming at him? Oh, I wasn't screaming at him. I was actually yelling at him. <laughs> I mean, that boy is so dumb. Uh. Since he came to this company, he has not done anything right. Mm. Yes. Oh, you mean he works here? Because I haven't seen him before. Oh, he's the new company messenger. Mm. Well, 
I don't mean to pry, but how much is his salary? Well, um, 40,000 naira. 40,000 naira? What? Just that? Do you have any problem with that? Why would I have a problem with that? Come on. <laughs> Not really. Oh my world. How can an ordinary common messenger be that cute? Damn. Uh, Dad. Yeah. Excuse me. Where are you off to? Oh, Dad, um, I just want to send someone to get me some lunch. Uh -huh. Do you care for anything? Uh, I don't. You know me. Okay. After having my breakfast, I take nothing. Nothing goes into my mouth until I close. Except, of course, water. <laughs> it's okay, Dad. That's fine. I'll just um, get something because I'm really famished and I might just faint. Is that right? Um, Romeo will help you get something. Where's Romeo? The company message. Oh, that's his name? Oh, yes. Ah, uh, okay. I'll do just that. Exactly. Exactly. I'll be right back. Don't miss me too much. Oh. You know I will surely miss you. <laughs> Messenger? Yes? You don't answer yes, stick glue to your seat. I expected you to jump up when you hear your name. Get up! And next time, it's not yes, it's yes ma to you. Anyway, here. Take that bunny. I need you to go to the restaurant, get me some fried rice, chicken, um, a bottle of juice and some water. Mm -hmm. And I uh, wouldn't want you to keep me waiting. I hate to wait. What did I say she get me? Fried rice and chicken. Was that all I said? And juice. Is that all? And the water. Good. Don't keep me waiting. Child. Is this how they all like? Is this how they are in their family? See, I would advise you take the money and go on the errand to avoid going. Me? No, no. Pick money that she shoots to me in the floor. Mm, please, continue this conversation when you're back. Please, you're not listening to me. What stops her from giving the money, giving me money directly in my hand? Or talking to me politely. I don't get it. Mr. Romeo, if you still want to continue working in this firm, you have to do this. Please. Dad? Yes, my beautiful <laughs> Guess what? Come on. Uh, you know I'm not good at guessing. Dad, guess. I can't guess. Please, Dad, don't be such a spoiled sport. Just hmm? guess. Spill it out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's okay. I can't even give it to myself because I'm ah. super excited. Uh, let's have it. I called a car dealer. Mm -hmm. I ordered for a new ride. I paid for it. And he just got delivered. Wow. <laughs> that is my daughter. Oh, thank you. That thank is you. my daughter. <laughs> Congratulations. Oh. I'm so proud of you. Thank you, Daddy. I am so proud of you. Oh, thank you, Dad. I owe everything to you and Aunt. Oh, my God. Oh, thank you so much, Daddy. I owe everything to you and Aunt Rose. Oh, thank you. Uh, thank you. You inspire me so much. Oh, thank you. Thanks for all you do, thank Daddy. Thank you. We will celebrate this. Yes. Oh, yeah? We will celebrate. Yeah, for real? Yes. <coughs> Dad, you know yeah. I like celebrations. Uh, I'll take you. I'll take you. <laughs> of course. So
to mm -hmm. not to the God, probably. No, no. Ah, good. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't want to bore you. Ah. What's keeping the messenger? He's not back. I'll speak this morning and he won't make me a lesser human being. What's going on here? What is going on here? Does it mean this fool has he gone to get me lunch? Sarah, I was about picking the money before you stepped in. No. Why would you do that? Why hasn't he picked the money to go get me lunch? Where I'm from, you don't throw money to a man on the ground and expect him to pick it. Where you come from, huh? And where exactly do you come from? Oh, I know from the slum. Where else would you come from? Tell me. This is the reason women like you find it hard to get married. How dare you! How dare you! You slap me. How do you open your gutters to talk to me like that? Do you know who I am? Down, peace, and walk out on me. No, 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 no! You don't even have to beg on that thing. You don't, you don't, you don't, you don't have to. It's not necessary. <sighs> A mere complaint, messenger. Do that to me. He dares not come back. He's fired. Make sure he doesn't step into this company, this office, anywhere around this premises. I won't take this. <laughs> Dad. Dad, Dad, Dad. What is it, my angel? I mean, who, who has the temerity to piss off my princess this afternoon? Dad, can you imagine that ordinary messenger, that nitwit, Nikombu? Oh, God. Dad, do you know that that idiot didn't even touch my money, let alone run the errand? What? That fool? Does he know who he's messing with? Oh, Dad, come on. I want you to fire him. Yes, fire him immediately. Please, just fire him. This world dream. Are dying, the rich ascend while the poor keeps crying. They are deaf to the pleas of dolls in the yeah, as they walk on the, That's the company that that from by India. greed. They build their castles Good. on the back of the weak as they cry. The poor struggle I mean, to speak. They're does he know who he is dealing with? Yeah. To their Forgetting he, that one day he walked pay out pay on me oh. in front of everyone. And, and I, was, I was embarrassed. He demeaned me. In the full glare of everyone sitting there, there. It was so Speak embarrassing. Mumble. Speak, Mumble. He will come and explain this matter. Okay? Money is good. Yet the rich keeps oppressing the poor. They forget that one day the oppressed won't take it no more, take it no more. They'll fight back, fight back. They'll take it no more, take it no more, and fight back. To be rich is fine, to be rich is not a crime. But some use the advantage of their position for oppression. Yeah. They take advantage of their position to cause confusion and commotion. 
they forget there'll be consequences for their actions yeah. for every action oh, there'll be a... we could have gone to wait could it be he left no 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 no, not after everything he went through to get this job. It took him donkey years to get this job. Ah. Ah, no, 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 no. Ah, why walk away right now, Mr. Romeo? Hello, Mr. Romeo. Where are you? The MD wants to see you right away. I don't understand what you're saying, Mr. Romeo. Where are you? Where exactly are you? What are you saying? Mr. Romeo, please. Please, you need to come back to your job. You know all this could have been averted. Why abandon your job now after all the stress you went through getting this job as the company's messenger? Please, I beg you, Mr. Romeo. Come back to your job, please. Mr. Romeo? Hello? Mr. Romeo? He hung up. Am I going to tell the director? <laughs> Indefinitely for that lousy fellow. I'm afraid, my princess, we have to wait. Where's the fool? Ma, I didn't see him. What do you mean you didn't see him? I think he left. Left for where? Exactly my point. He left to see if he had someplace else to be. Sir, I have searched for him in this whole premises, but he's nowhere to be found. It's all right. Let him go. He will surely come back, and he has me to contend with. Yeah, I want him fired. In fact, he's fired. Leave. Go back to your office. Uh, one more thing. I don't want to see him an inch close to this company anymore. Is that understood? Yes, sir. Leave. Just what he said? He said get lost. That's just simple English. I am going to deal with that boy ruthlessly. Let him not come back to this company again. If not, <laughs> he will see the other side of me. This whole brouhaha would have been averted if Mr. Romeo had listened to me. There wouldn't be any room for all of this. Now, out of stubbornness, he has lost his job. I know I told him vividly that these people don't care a hoot about others. They go all out inflicting more pains to the poor as though they are responsible for their poor state. For all I know, they are not the only rich people in this world. Why can't they be nice to people for once? Imagine Zara dropping money for Romeo on the floor. Money she should have given to him in his hand and he would have gone to shop right, got her whatever and come back. 
wish I can live the same way Romeo left. I have never enjoyed this work. MD keeps taunting us. Treating his employees as though we meant nothing. Zara, whatever she calls her name. Just imagine, eh? The May girl insulting me, throwing money at me, and expecting me to pick it up, eh? Because she's who now? No, 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 she's who? Expecting money, wait. Something my mother would not even do to me. It's not her fault. It's not her fault. Because I'm just a messenger in the office. I'd rather live there. I'd rather live such a work. Insulting me, me, a mere girl, a man like me. This one you came back to earlier, you're sleeping. Wafa! Gee, what's up? Get up now. Why are you sleeping? Huh? Yeah. Wafa! Well, I'm a very well, Jerry. Why are you sleeping? Well, uh, you came back too early. See the time now. I resigned. You said what? I resigned for my work. The job will just get. Now you resign? I got this job, my man. What are you saying? How can you just resign? <laughs> God, I could take anything from anybody, even a girl born not an insult. Wait, Romeo, what are you even saying? Did anyone insult you? Huh? Who? My MD's daughter. Imagine this the one bashing. This small girl came into our office today and stole money at me. And commanded me to go to shop right and buy her lunch. Wait, you're joking. Me joking. Did you just say the girl threw money at you? Why would she throw money at you? Ordinarily, she could have given you the money in your hands or dropped it on the table for you to pick up. Exactly my point. So why would she throw it on you? I don't just understand. I don't just get it. Eh? That was not even all. Do you know she came outside because I refused to pick the money? This game, man, I can't see. Too slap. She slapped you. She slapped you! My brother, too sla I, I was just looking, I could not do anything. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. This is serious. Ah. Oh, wait, 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 wait. It's, it's, this whole thing is not making sense to me. Because I'm trying to understand in my head why yeah, a girl will slap you twice! My brother, do you want to ask me? Wait, have you had any problem with this girl before now? Uh, I've not, even in my dream, I've not seen this girl. Are you sure? Even in my dream. This guy came to reality and slapped me. It's not the a job you just got to. Because I'm a, because I'm just office messenger. This is really, really not making sense at all. So okay. this is so sad. You see, this thing is one. This is one of these problems, this which people are always having. Eh? This rich people, this is they, their problem. They don't value people. I said someone is not from anywhere. I don't just understand. I know the funny thing. It's not even every rich person that's like this. There are people that see one boy, you know, nice. This one just carry your shoulder. Job boy, you never even you never grow your bare for the job. Don't give it to slap. Now you say if you don't say like this, most or more off. Then go break your head. If not for one thing, no. If not for just one thing, see, I don't want to talk about this thing. Just want to sleep. You can sleep. She slapped you twice, Baba. As in, she give me bah, bah. Oh more, yeah. I beg, I beg. I beg. That made me sleep. I beg. Oh, you can say go for the job. I beg, I beg. Who kind of nonsense is that one now? Why they go slap you like that now? See what's happening now? Are you reverse messing around in this world? Why should I slap you? In this world where dreams are dying, the rich 
ascend while the poor keeps crying. They are deaf to the pleas of those in need as they walk on the broken hearts filled by greed. They build their castles on the back of the weak as they thrive. The poor struggle to speak their privilege, blind them to their heartless ways. Forgetting that one day they'll pay They intimidate, humiliate, and manipulate The less privileged They intimidate, humiliate, and manipulate The less privileged Ego de ma, money is good Yet the rich keeps oppressing the poor To be rich is not a crime, but some use the advantage of their position for oppression. Yeah. They take advantage of their position to cause confusion and commotion. They forget there'll be consequences for their actions. The way you're eating already, I can tell that you had a very bad day. <laughs> bro. Tell me about it. Oh, my day was terrible, bro. Look, oh. I trekked around the city in search of a job. Are you serious? Under the scorching sun. Guy, you know, it's a shame that even with your certificate, you can't get a job in this country. What can one do now? It's been like this for a very long time. But meanwhile, uh, instead of complaining, why don't you go back to your old job? Before you lose it to someone else. I don't understand. Go back to my old job and allow that little girl insult me. Eh? You see, the truth of the matter is, we men, we've got our ego. But sometimes we need to swallow this ego and get things done. Mm. The girl in question is not always there. You worked with them for two weeks and you saw the girl just a few days. That shows that the girl is not always in that office. So just overlook all these things and go back to work. That's just my candid opinion about the whole no, thing. No, 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 bro. No. Look, I understand everything you're saying, I know. But guy, I can tell you for free that I know God has a job for me. Yeah. But if it's that office, guy, I know to go. Romeo, forget ego. Forget ego. Where you were before is better than where you are right now. It is better you go back to that work before someone else takes that position. No, let somebody else take it. Pass for me. I can't go back to the office and watch uh, that girl insult me. If it's even the MD, I can even manage. But that girl, no, no. I don't want to kiss somebody. 
pride is a pride is a bad thing. No worry, God. I know, I know why they tell you this thing. Because you go see trek. If the complain say you trek today, you go see trek where where. And they tell you true. For me, when I beg you cook, because I'm hungry like this. You get conscious. See, I tell you, I trek on that coaching son. You actually like cook. Oh, go for tea, go chop. Wait, Nami, wait, Nami, go enter kitchen for you. You will first me return. I go show Gary. You no go drink him. No try him, no try him, no try him. So the company's messenger has not been to work for three days now. Yes. That fool. I guess maybe he has resigned of his own free volition. Well, since he hasn't shown up, it is what it is. But Dad, why would a mail company messenger Refused to pick up money I threw on the floor to go get me lunch. What? You threw money on the floor for him to go get you lunch? Of course, he's the messenger. And why are you saying it now? Aunt, does it make any difference? That was wrong. <sighs> that was totally wrong. I didn't raise you to be this nasty, Chizaram. Rosemary! Are you calling her? I, she was supposed to take the orders of um, the, the daughter of, of his employer. Really? Mm hmm. I'm not surprised. Fabian, for once, condemn what your daughter has done wrong. Father and daughter going about treating people as if they don't exist, making everyone angry. What is wrong with you? But they are my servants. They are supposed to serve my only daughter. I mean, who is that boy? He said nobody. Who are his parents? What does he have? I mean, why, why did he feel so big that he cannot pick money that my daughter threw on the floor? Two of you. You go about treating people as if they are less human. Did you hear what she did? She even slapped the young man on both cheeks. On the left and on the right. Aunt, he got on my nerves. Really? And I just had to unleash my anger. What's so wrong with that? Please. Did you hear that? Fabian, mm. it was the same attitude that killed your little Have you forgotten so soon? Have you? Rosemary. You were in a cap in the night. Too. How dare you bring my late wife's name into this matter? You need to bring her into this conversation. What for? That's the truth. And you are still repeating it. See, I understand where you're coming from. I really do. But I want you to open your mind. See it from this perspective. A bed in hand is worth a million in the bush. Go back to your work. Take back that job. Continue with it. And endure every other thing that's happened. Yeah. I just understand yeah, why my MD is like that. The way he speaks to people without respect is very bad. What can you do? He's empty. He's your boss. Forget about the way he talks to people. Endure that part. Focus on the salary. Believe me. Come on. Don't worry, I'll try one more time. You try one. What's your good job hunting now? I'll go find you tomorrow again. Try. My brother, I'm not trying to run you down. I'm only trying to make you understand that you and Zara should not keep treating him and as if they're lesser. She's a woman. She should learn better. But they are servants and they should know their place. Must you follow the footsteps of your parents? What led to the death of your mother? Rosemary! Are you still Bible on it? Rosemary! Yeah. Tell her everything that happened. Yeah. The world does not revolve around you both. Around father and, and daughter. Dad. 
What's she talking about? Zara, ignore her. Ignore who? Dad, she said this before and now she's saying it again. I want to know what's going on. And I will keep saying it. How did my mother die? Tell and me what's I going on. I said, ignore her. Dad, mm -hmm. I think there's more to mom's death that you're not telling me. What's going on? Find out from, from me. Anyway, she died in a ghastly car accident. You've told me that before. But from aunt's reaction, it's obvious that there's more to my mom's death. Tell me what's going on. Well, she didn't deserve what uh, happened to her. I mm. mean, what happened to her could happen to anybody, regardless, okay? Mm -hmm. Mom. My beautiful mom. I miss you every single day. I wish you were here. There's so much I'd like to tell you. But first I'd like to say thank you. Thank you for betting me. I wish you could see the person I've become. I wish you could see how much I've grown. Everyone says I look like you. What do you think? You have been close, I know. Just like that, right? I love you, Mom. Tell me, do you still love me? There's so much, well, there's so much I would like to say, but you're not here to hear me. You're not here. But I hope you're still looking down on me. I hope you miss me too. Dad loves you a whole lot. And I bet we would have been close. I'll miss you single day where dreams are dying the rich ascend while the poor keeps crying they are deaf to the pleas of those in need as they walk on the broken hearts filled by greed they build their castles on the back of the weak as they thrive, the poor struggle to speak their privilege, blind them to their heartless ways, forgetting that one day they'll pay. They intimidate, humiliate, and manipulate the less privileged. What am I saying? Wait a minute. Isn't this the Romeo guy? Why is he checking under the hot sun and talking to himself like he's retarded? How can he leave his job as the company's messenger to be trekking under the scorching sun? Who does that? <laughs> oh. <laughs> this guy doesn't know he's in Nigeria. He was supposed to guard his job je jealously. Oh, what a pity. Someone else has taken the job. <laughs> you had a job and you threw it away. Now another has taken it. Poor you. Whatever. You see the way he's tracking. <gasps> no, 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 I can't even deal. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this is unfathomable. I mean, some people are just crazy. See how he's tracking. This guy had a job, yet he lost it. All for what? Pride. Arrogance. Ah, this is truly sad. <laughs> if he's a fool, I'm not. I 
always know what to do. <laughs> oh God. Good afternoon to the best dad in the whole. Good afternoon, my pretty mm. angel. How are you? I'm doing super, super good. You're Never better. You're looking so excited. Of course, dad. I'm always excited. Really? <laughs> yes. Spill it out. Dad, just guess. Top man. I've told you, my pretty angel. I am not good at... Yes, Okay, I know. I'm just tell you. <sighs> Today, mm -hmm. guess what? So, oh, of course, you're not good at guessing. Guess. <laughs> <laughs> okay, daddy. I saw that fool who abandoned his job here. Trekking under the scorching sun. Oh, oh, he was mumbling to himself. I'm sure he was jump hunting. Hmm, yes, I think so. Are you by any means referring to Romeo? Who else, Dad? <laughs> Dad, you should have seen him. He was looking so malnourished. <laughs> Ow. Look, my princess, I wouldn't worry about him. <sighs> eh? He left out of his own volition, so why bother? Dad, I want him back. Excuse me? Why would you want him back? Besides, his uh, position has been given to Peters. Um, yeah. Dad, I, 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 I'm not saying he should come back as the company's messenger. I, I, I'm saying uh, he's, he should come back as my personal driver. Yes. Ah, come on, my princess. You, you drive yourself around. Why would you need a personal driver? Dad, are you going to deny me this? Tiny, whiny, dingly request. Ah, come on, my princess. That young man left because he refused to do your bidding. You know, asking for him to come back as your personal driver is well out of it. You know, besides, I'm sure he's going to decline the offer. <laughs> like he has a choice. <laughs> that the person I saw today would jump at anything. That. I am sure. A hundred percent. I want him back. Please. Well, um, just to please you, mm. um, I will put a call to him later in the day. Hmm? Thank you, Daddy. Huh? I knew welcome. it. I said it already. You are the best dad ever. Anything you know, <laughs> for my baby. <sighs> And I love you, Daddy. I love you, sweetheart. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right, so I'll do something for you. Oh, sorry. Sorry, Daddy. You don't mean it. Hmm. Chief Fabian of all persons called you on the phone. I'm telling you. So. What's the plan? Plan? Well, I'm not going anywhere. You say? I say I know they go anywhere. Are you okay? Huh? Your breasts they walk where? You know they go where? I know they go anywhere, Oga. Oh my God, you this nonsense where they talk. What you can form in your this once now? Look, you might call me the formula or anything. Don't you understand? Ah. Uh -uh. I cannot stand these people's insults. Chief Fabian, you need to see the way he talks to us in the, in the office. His daughter is even in no go area. Hey. Uh -uh. You know, sometimes when I look here, I did not say, in the blessed village, you could get half of what you do. You. How Chief Fabian go call you? You go see get my idea how they talk nonsense. See, make I tell you something, eh? Even if you like, be the finest boy in that office. If you don't have money, your finest is nothing. No, Allah. I might be broke, but I have my self worth. Look, if I did not play the value on myself, Chief Fabian will call me. The man will call me. So please, I beg. Uh. Do like this. You do well. 
because your brain knows the function well. No, well why don't? Why well don't know? You don't know what thing they happen. For this guy had economy. Uh, let's I remind you, eh? It's okay. If you don't want to take the job, it's fine. I mean, you're a big boy, you're a fine boy. But look here. Our subscription expired since last month. We never talk about for some reasons because we're the manager ourselves. We no longer eat the way we used to. We've been managing ourselves. Well, if you are not thinking of supporting me in a way, then that means you're not being rational. Yes, look. I understand where you're going to. I know, I know all these things. I did see him. You know this. Thing. I did see him, my guy. Now, why would I look for a job now? At least, even a good, a good paying job. They can take support all these things. So, calm down. I understand. I know they're blind now. Do you know, meanwhile, as you look for a job, you know the job? Oh. Won't you be feeling the why you're looking for a job? Oh. Bill or who? Oh, God. No, no, no. I beg. I'm, I'm trying to just, I'm trying to be in a good mood. Make a no dream bad dream this time after I go sleep like this. Day or day. Can you drive? No, sir. Romeo. Yes, sir. Do you have a driver's license? No, sir. You need to get one. Sir, so, please hold. I want to give you a job as my daughter's personal driver. What? No, sir. Please, that will. Sir, that can happen. Your startup salary is 70,000 naira. Sir, if only the salary is 1 million naira, I will still would not collect the job. I ask you again. Why? Sir, didn't your daughter explain to you what transpired between both of us? Me accepting that job is like accepting and insulting me on a daily basis. Romeo. Accept this job and quit job hunting. Sir, I'm sorry, I'm going to decline. Thank you. Romeo, think about it for two days and uh, come back to me. Sir, please, with all due respect, I need to decline. Thank you very much, sir. What is wrong with this boy? A poor and a proud boy. It's alright. You go about jumping from one place to the other looking for a job. He declined. Yes. He said he wouldn't do it. By the way, what is it about this boy? You can get someone else to be your personal driver. So, how far? How did it go? My guy, you will not believe what happened to me today. What happened to you? Do you know that Chief Fabian called me to his office to humiliate me? Why would Chief Fabian call you to his office to humiliate you? Why? This man offered me the job of a driver. A driver? <laughs> <laughs> why did no, you laugh? Who the best? Who the best? Who the best? Okay, sorry, sorry, I sorry, I was laughing. Oh, cool. Stop it. Okay, wait, wait. He offered you a job of a driver. So what happened to the cleaner job? Is it no longer available? That the post of uh, the company messenger has been given to someone else. I knew it. I knew it. I mean, they told you that time. Say me, you go collect that job back. You did the spread. You did the spread. Now you've lost the job to someone else. That's what you do. That's like, oh, you know what they pay me? Eh? That this man, this man is offering me a job of a driver. Eh? To be driving that is sassy and cheeky daughter up and down. Wait. Hey. Wait, 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 wait hold on. 
room you don't wait, suffer. Wait, at the conference room, you'll persuade you. Jim. So he's not just offering you a job as a driver, but also to be driving the chick around. So that the chick would then complete what she has started. Oh, thank God, now you understand. No, thank God you understand so what I'm talking about. In a about. month, they go give you like 70 slap. As you collect salary, they book your huh. slap joint. My oh, brother, you don't see him. You don't see what he's kicking at the face. I'm actually surprised with how the whole thing turned out. That young man is not easily subdued. He was so stubborn. I was shocked to my marrow when he emphatically told me that um, he would not pick up the job, considering what transpired between both of you. Wait. <laughs> this is really funny. The same person I saw trekking and he was even sweating profusely under the scorching sun, rejecting a job opportunity. Oh, well. He was hell bent on not uh, picking the job. As a matter of fact, he walked out of my office. What? Uh -huh. Who the hell is he? No, 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 no. What, 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 what gives him that gut to do that? What does he have? Apart from being a first class product. What else? What else has he ever achieved in his miserable life? Ah, I just hate his guts. Anyway, I gave him uh, two days to give me feedback. If after two days he doesn't come back to me, then um, we just forget about the whole thing. Hmm? Dad. Yes. Do you think you'll come around? Well, from uh, what I witnessed, I don't think so. The young man was so blunt. I saw an arrogant and proud person. I mean, he was so full of himself. I will offer anything just to make him give in. He must accept the job. Then I'll strike. I must give him what he deserves. Why don't you take that job? Take the job. Huh. See, it's better than nothing. Take then a job. You didn't want me, Abby. I'll tell you truth. You didn't want me. Make I come back this house every day. They explain to you different kind of slap what they call it. No, you didn't want me. Eh? Okay, sure. In absence of nothing, eh? Uh, how much is the salary? Or did they tell you how much they were paying you? No. They all, they, you offered me 100k. What? 100k? Yes, now 100k. 100k? 100k now. Hey! What's happening? My guy, you go take that job. Hey! How much are they paying me? If you don't collect that job, make I don't take us out. I know they collect the job. Yeah. I know they collect the job. Make I chop insult because of 100k. Yeah, man. Okay, I don't collect any job. With 100k, you go collect the slap. With 100k, you go enjoy the insult. With 100k, boss, you go enjoy everything. If you get slap you in the money, you go say yes, man. If they kick you, you go say thank you, man. Ah. If she slap you, thank you, man. What's can I talk with you? How can I have your money now? What's the worry you what now? talk? Now you go collect the slap. Wait, but if now you go collect this if na the if na for the hundred k, I go enjoy everything. Not be joke. You go enjoy everything. How much are the collect? Hey, you don't even see this guy I talk about. Wait, me that name again. Wait, Zara. Eh, is that her name? Yes, now nah, name be that. Make a come they make the get the slap me up now. I see your hundred k not day here. I feel fight join every day. If not to the fight for work, but the fight. Okay, okay. I don't, I don't, I don't understand. Now nah, I don't understand what he plan for me. I think say you. I think I think it will be blood. If the toxic work no day, wait, calm down. See, eh, Romeo, let me tell you something. It's not a bad job. 100,000 naira as monthly salary is a good pay for now. Endure whatever that is happening in that office. If he wants you to be driving the daughter around, go and be driving the daughter around. One thing is, try to overlook the daughter. That's just it. I know why I'm telling you this. There is no job anywhere. You leave this house in the morning and come back at night. Sometimes you don't even get any interview in one week. Even when you get some, they tell you one or two things that doesn't make sense. Sometimes you get to spend more money transporting yourself, yourself to work than even the salary they're offering you. Is that what you want? I don't hear you. See, you know your problem, man. You get hot temper, but you need to calm down. Are they calm? Are they calm? You go do the job. I beg. I go think about them. Alpha, you don't joke. 
I guess more is when I cook, make a serve you. Make a serve you. No serve me. No serve me. to talk. About what? Actually, I heard you and Zara having a discussion about her wanting to have a personal driver. Mm-hmm. Ejima? Yes? The same guy she molested threw money on the floor for him to pick. I mean, Finn slapped him twice. It's the person she's asking to be her personal driver. You know, I'm just asking. No hard feelings. Yes. Can't you read in between the lines? Really? What is there to read? Why wouldn't I? The, the, the person we are talking about here is my only child. I mean, I don't see anything wrong in her desiring to have a personal driver. And, um... As far as I'm concerned, she is my beautiful angel. And so long as money can buy anything, I will provide it for her. Moreover, uh, she's our own CEO, so what's the big deal? Must it be that same guy? No, you're consenting for that guy to be her personal driver. Like, come in personal contact with her on a daily? Are you consenting to it? No, uh -huh. what is wrong with that? Uh, do you know the person we are talking about here? My only child. Really? Uh huh. Is Zara the only child in this entire universe? Uh, are there no other only children for different parents? The same guy she mistreated, who she's asking to be her personal driver so that she can continue from where she stopped. Uh -huh. I pray. What happened to her mother does not happen to this your only child. Good night. Fabian, I want to tell no more. It wouldn't be easy and I'm tears sorrow. She might be right too. I hope Zara knows what she's doing. I don't want what happened to Mabel to happen to my daughter. Hey. Sorry, Daddy. It's hot. Sorry. Do you want water? No, I'm good. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's been three days since um we've not heard from Romeo. He hasn't come to pick up his driving job. Mm. Mm. Well, the reason is simple. Mm. That means um he's not interested in being your personal driver. What? But he doesn't have a job. And so, I mean, he, he doesn't want to be your personal driver, so don't push it, okay? Dad, mm -hmm. I'm thinking, why not up the salary to say 150,000 naira? That should do the magic. What? A hundred and fifty thousand naira? Yes, daddy. Uh, is he worth that much? He's the one I want. By the way, why do you want him so badly? Reasons best known to me. Hmm. Come on, Zara. I just want to tell you that um, 
you should be careful. Mm. In as much as I would want you to get everything you desire, I, I have my reservations. Okay? Why are you saying that exactly? Well, with time you will understand. Okay. But Dad. Yes. Can you call him today and just tell him that you're offering a hundred and fifty thousand air? What is this? Dad, come on. Okay. Say yes. Come on, say yes. This guy you are blackmailing me. That's a yes. You're blackmailing me. That's a yes. So Here's my guarantee. Good day, sir. Is that yes, right? Sir. You are going to sign a guarantee form. In the event that he commits any offense, any criminal act, and decides to abscond, oh, I will so come after you. You have no cause to be worried, sir. He already told me everything before we came here. Um, he's my he's my cousin. I mean, we stay together. He's well behaved. I can guarantee you that, sir. Good. That means both of you are families, right? Yes, Chief. Um, his his father and my father are blood brothers. Same father, same mother. That makes us direct cousins. Mm. So I know him very well. You don't have to worry, sir. Fair enough, young man. Your job is to drive my only child. And your salary a month will be 150,000 naira. Okay? Yes, sir. Now, we won't accommodate any lapses. You must do your job judiciously. Is that understood? Yes. No problem, sir. One more thing. Lateness to work is highly prohibited. Of course you should know that. Make sure you're here 7 a.m. on the dot, not a minute later. That's your uniform. What are you supposed to say? Thank you, sir. You got it. But that girl is fine. That girl is beautiful. Oh my god. I beg you. Oh, that girl fine. It's me. What is beauty with bad character? I don't understand. Very nonchalant woman being. Uh, but let's be honest now. At least the girl is so beautiful. You know now. Talk true. Hey. Uh, anyway, uh, you know, it's one thing about the Fabians. They believe that money is everything. So. You don't have to complain. Guys, see, that ideology is wrong. It's false, man. Money is good, quite all right. Yes, who so says money is not good? Well, money is not everything. Huh? Yes. Your son has said you've been rich before. But I calm down. You never get money before. No, they whine me. No, but over see that house, some of these guys they get money where these guys are rich. What? I'm a look, yes, so the man is rich, but I can tell you for free that that man is not happy. You see what? That man is not happy, man. I tell you. See, Mammy don't work for that man's office. I don't know. The man is always bitter. Morning is squeezing face. Afternoon is squeezing face. Night, the man is squeezing face. I don't know. He, he acts like he has lost someone special. You borrow money with him. Uh, you, you know, there's this saying I saw somewhere that uh, rich people are not as happy as they look. Uh, but uh, you don't know what might have led to that. Is it possible that maybe he lost his wife or something? Do you know? Well, I can't say. I just, you know, I just started working at that office and look, now I'm out of there. So I have no knowledge about that. Anyway, oh. what's our own? But you heard what the girl said, Abby? Wait a she said 7 a.m. She emphasized it too. I was there. I heard it clearly. 7 a.m. 7 a.m. You should report to work tomorrow morning. I don't hear. I don't hear. My only issue now is say, where and where they drive that girl go? No, tell me where and where are they drive that Diego? Uh, you they ask me. Uh -huh. Why, master? You, no, let me, let me, let me tell you when it comes 7 a.m. 
Your own is to report there by 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. Then she will tell you where and where she needs you to take her to. It's very simple. See, see, my own, I say, make that game no just try nonsense. See, Wait, I go just beat him. That guy, she take shot like that. I go don't knock him in here. You, you the mad, Abby? You, you don't mad before? You want, you want, you want go prison? Yeah, don't talk about your, your, your hand on the look where I won't go knock. You know what I'm saying? You go look, you go way the other way I won't go before you go knock. That girl is doing here. Make sure you know, I go not I go not I go not I go not drop her for road. Your problem is you get her temper too much. Oh, guys. I don't want to calm down. I don't want it too much for this <laughs> life. I think calm down small. But, guy, you see, you know, say you need to collect salary first. I know, see, now waiting there for sure. I know, see, now waiting. I know what I'm saying. Can you say buy rice for house? Don't be saying, you know, say I don't feel it for too long. So I need to back up. Oh, okay. When they insult me, I know, say you need to prevent that. Hey, the calm down. Come here, girl. Let's move this. Before you go para finish, I beg. Move, collect for salary, I beg. I beg. That's all I need. I'm not going to sell that food. your ma? Um, good morning, auntie. Are you stupid? What's so good about this money? Why are you just coming to work? Um, I'm sorry. I, I was a little bit with, with the traffic. I'm sorry. You're sorry? So I'm just supposed to buy that you're sorry? Do you know you're a fool? Do you know you're stupid for keeping me here all this time? Why you know that I have something to do at the office? Come a minute past seven tomorrow and you're fired. Take me to work. Are you stupid? Yes, boss. Ross. Jesus, I'm sure a, a, a boss baby. You. Ah. Huh? Well, so long as it makes her happy. Fine by me. Why are you talking like this? Huh? Did you see the way she was talking to that young man? As if they've been sworn enemies all their lives. I mean, for decades. Yeah, come on, Rosemary. Leave Zara alone. Okay? Let her live her life the way she wants it. Okay? I know that exactly what you're going to say. And let's just leave that. Fabian. It is 23 years. Mabel passed. When are you getting married again? Hmm. I am not considering anything like marriage until um, Zara is married. How are you talking like this? Her presence does not stop anything. Ah, you can marry whether she's here or not. It sure does. Drive slowly. Can you take it slow? My bag, please. Give my bag. Uh, it's right here, Mom. Give it to me. Okay. Can you concentrate on what you're doing? That, What's this? I'm sorry, that's what I'm doing. What's that? Are you stupid or something? What is wrong with you? I asked you to drive and not talk back at me. Concentrate. It's as simple as that. And why are you smiling? I'm asking you. You said I should not talk and I just said to smile. Where, where are you even from? What is wrong with this one? Idiot. This world where dreams are dying the rich ascend while the poor keeps crying. They are deaf to the pleas of those in need as they walk 
on the broken hearts filled by greed. They build their castles on the back of the weak. As they thrive, the poor struggle to speak. Their privilege blind them to their heartless ways, forgetting that one day they'll pay. They take my beautiful princess. Good afternoon, Daddy. Good afternoon. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, how was your day? Ah, but it was fantastic. Uh, <laughs> okay, tell me, your driver, how is his uh, performance? Uh, that is, that is just so so. Oh, uh, <laughs> he's doing well. Ah, uh, you can say that. He's doing well, well. it's all right. <laughs> so, have you had anything to eat? Yes, I did. In fact, I had some roasted chicken, mm -hmm. a glass of pineapple juice, you mm -hmm. know me. Well, mm -hmm. of course, I didn't get anything for you in case you do not eat. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's impressive. You know, I've always told you, mm -hmm. don't starve yourself because of work. <sighs> okay? Dad, mm -hmm. thank you so much for taking care of me. Uh, you know you're the world best. Uh, <laughs> if I don't love and care for you, who will? No one, I guess. <laughs> That's why I love you. <laughs> I love you too, my princess. Oh, mm -hmm. Okay, Dad. Yeah. I'm going back home now. I hope you come home soon, okay? Yeah, of course I will. Do not stay late. You know me. Mm -hmm. you Dad, know me. Dad, do not stay late. I don't stay late. I'll see you soon. <laughs> What is wrong with you? What is your problem exactly? Are you stupid? Why do you keep doing that every second? I'm, I'm sorry. Sorry, Mom. What is your sorry, Ma? You keep doing it and you keep saying, say, say, man, say, man. The next time you tell me sorry. Is there something wrong with your head? And you're still doing it again? What is your problem? If you yawn one more time, I'm going to throw you out the window. Stupid human. Don't get me irritated, please. Rubbish. It keeps yearning all over, like every second. He's hungry. But rather than admitting to that, he chooses to make excuses. What pride. Drive fast and just stop somewhere around there. I need, at, at the restaurant, I need to get some food. Thing is this one? Someone that left the house as early as 6 a.m. This is to 11. You're not back from work. What kind of problem is this one now? Huh? Just look at the time to 11. Where are you? Are you okay? I do. I do. Why are you working so tired? What happened? I'm tired. I'm tired. This is to 11. Come on, girl. That's how the job be. I'm uh, waiting there as I'm hungry. But you know, chop, you never chop. What did you happen now? Chop. Hmm. Omo, I thought I was supposed to. I thought that girl was supposed to give me food. But guys, you know, give me anything. Not you, the day, I never chop. Is a lie. Wait. You left this house 6 a.m. in the morning. You're returning by past 11. And you're trying to tell me that the person you're working with did not feed you. She didn't bother to know if you've eaten. I'm going to eat you. Just enter into that restaurant there. Okay, ma'am. Can you slow it down? You've never owned a car in your life. Why would you know how to drive properly? In this world where 
their dreams are dying. The rich ascend while the poor keeps crying. They are deaf to the pleas of those in need as they walk on the broken hearts filled by greed. They build their castles on the back of the weak as they thrive. The poor struggle to speak their privilege, blind them to their heartless ways, forgetting that one day they'll pay. They intimidate, humiliate, and manipulate the less privileged. They intimidate, humiliate, and manipulate the less privileged. He just drives slow. Why did you why, why why did you drive like that? Please take it slowly. Sorry, mom. Sorry for yourself. <laughs> Whew, life is good when you have money. Trust me on that. I say so. I do say so. <sighs> you know, when you have a really good chair, you have nothing to worry about. Ah, oh, my baby. Mm. Mm. This was simply the best. They have the best chicken. And they do the way I like them. Mm. Mm. Will you concentrate on what you drive? What are you looking at? Long throat. I know he must have been swallowing his saliva all along. <laughs> oh, I'm having so much fun. Mm. You know, there are some, some people that are just meant to die poor. Yeah. They live all their lives poor and they still die poor. But, oh well, I don't have to worry about that. Thank God I am not poor. Can you face your front? What are you looking at exactly? Can you drive and just concentrate? What are you looking at? Did you forget something here? Do you wanna do you wanna kill me or drive me into a ditch? What's your problem? It's simply the best chair. Bird chicken. Always the best. Always the best. Mm. Some cold juice. Oh, absolutely perfect. And can you not just can you stop bumping this car? Sorry. Sorry for yourself. What's up? That's where I take her from. Hmm. I just wonder. I just wonder. Eh? What sort of a game is this? Right. Are you sure that he has a boyfriend? <laughs> hey, that's just a game. <laughs> you don't know Joshua's just people. You suppose don't know now. You don't, they get their own problem now. Who, who wants to love that game? That kind of a person. You need to see the way the game was insulting me today. I just they look calm. To knock calm, just the only. You can just knock calm. I don't even know, eh? All these rich people, they should try to show some respect now. Mm -hmm. eh? respect. They feel because they are wealthy that everybody around them is a trash. Why wouldn't they respect the poor? Let the poor breathe Let's now. See, finish now. Let the poor breathe for crying out loud. Let's see, I'm not. she insult you because you're from a poor background? Let them allow the poor to breathe now. Eh? Yeah. Let the poor breathe for crying out loud. My brother, see, all this thing I don't talk. Oh, I'm so sorry about what you're going through today. You know what? Uh, see, see what we'll do. Um, by tomorrow, I will give you one key when you're going to work, eh, so that you now use and uh, uh, guide yourself in case brother, you're hungry. You now buy one or two, eh? Are you sure? You understand? Are you sure? No, but that one cannot be said. The money deal now. Money what they try save now. Four key. Oh, well, I don't. Yeah. That's why I don't yes. hear you now. You won't I know. Money. I want to emphasize the one key. Maybe you know how important that one key. And they give you no know, means say I get a plenty. 
Now no fuck worry. it remain. Now why they do this work now? Now why they do the work? No worry, everywhere good. Fuck it, I just go find time with you. But people we care for this life. Oh. Hey, where you go now? Not be the room. See room here now. Come, where is that kitchen? Enter room first, go change clothes. Make a one piece, enter. Keep the wicked for this life. I am elated. I am super, super, super happy. I had mad fun today. Oh, God. If happiness was a person, that would be me. I was able to put that proud arrogant hmm idiot in his place nonsense poverty stricken fool I saw the way he was yearning and yearning out of hunger <laughs> I was so frustrated him that he will wish he committed suicide ah oh, I hate him Chizera Fine boy, my foot. <laughs> oh, I wish I could do this every day. I just want to believe that fool is not here by this time. He's meant to be here by 7 and now it's 7.35. He's still not here. I hate dealing with incompetent fools. They do not understand the concept of time. They don't. That guy is that guy is such an idiot. He's an idiot. Oh, trust me, I'm not interested in hearing any nonsense he has to spew. I will try calling him on the phone. What? I call him on the phone. I wouldn't dare. When he gets here, I'm gonna fire him up front. Jesus, I can see you took your hot temperament. From your both parents. Can you calm down? Oh, please. Please, don't start. Listen. Take it easy on that young man. He's a nice guy. At least being nice to him won't cost you anything. I can never, ever be nice to him. I despise him with everything in me. Please. Ah. Hating someone who drives you is life-threatening. In fact, it's a risk. Have you asked your father how your mother died? Yes. Aunt. Yes? This is the third time you're mentioning that to my hearing. That is because it is very, very important. Chizaram, I am not a baby. I have seen decades upon decades in this house. You see, employing him as your personal driver in order to have your personal vendetta is childish. Jesus, I'm your well read. You should behave like one who is educated. This boy has done absolutely nothing to you. Whatever you think he has done to you is pardonable. So forgive him. Ah. I can never forgive him. Why? Listen. What you did was wrong. But you have refused to admit it because of your pride and your high-handedness. Threw you money for a full-fledged man, a full-blooded young man to be from that same floor, you threw the money is wrong. Slapping him twice! Because he refused to pick that same money for you. It's totally wrong. It is condemnable. Oh. His pride and his arrogance made him not to pick up that money. It has nothing to do with me. So stop putting it on me. Please. My child. He is a man. Men are wrapped up in their ego.
Hey! Hey, what? What is this? What kind of a thing is this? Aunt, just take a look at the time. Jesus, have you considered him moving into the house? Hmm? Yes. To save him the stress, he goes through every morning to work. Aunt, do you think that's a good idea? Of course it is. It will save him the stress of all the traffic he has to beat every morning before coming to work. I think you're right. Maybe I should just talk to Dad about it. Of course, talk to him. Let's see how he goes. But that doesn't stop me from dealing with that idiot when he gets here. Trust me, I must deal with him. So he will learn. He doesn't. He, he can't just start wasting my he time like that. He have a heart attack if you continue like this. He is not here. But if you ask me, I suggest you drive yourself to work today. What? If you're running behind schedule. Aunt, can't you drive again? I, I, there's a reason why it's called a paid driver. Like, I, I pay him. There's a reason him. why it is your hand that you use to drive. Same hand he will use. Then why would I pay for something that I, I would do myself? Sorry, drive yourself today. Aunt, it's 8 o'clock. I'm late for my program. What sort of a thing is this? Guy, I get better at my so I want you. And I want me to take her serious. Yeah. What do you mean, See that your madam and that your boss. Try and make her fall in love with you. Wait. Boss, I don't understand. You say she find where we're now. Eh? Are you naive people who must be fine? Make her fall for you. That way you feel enter her papa. Hey. Wait, is it that you've not been listening to me? I told you that that girl is a devil. Her father is Lucifer. Like, don't you understand? It was even because of that girl I left her company. What do you know on Wait, what do you know on for the English one you speak since? Let me even tell you something. Do you know that that girl eh, stole money at me and expected me to pick up the money and go and buy her lunch at ShopRite? Eh? Did you pick the money? For what now? Me, pick the money. So, what happened there after? Hmm, because I refused to pick up the money, yo. she came outside and she gave me two hot slaps. Eh? Slapped you? Ha! What now you get? No. Slapped you? Thank you. But now we get slapped him. Now that's the case you are telling me I should go and fall in love with. Well, I did not say you, you should fall in love with her. I said make her fall for you. Now you are today. You are doing better. Maybe you and your boss outside say you should make her fall for you. My brother, don't worry. You don't be work. You don't be work. I bet you go soon. You should come finish up now. Don't be work, I bet. Yeah, the keys. I'm just for the day. You're sleeping here tonight. Sorry? You're sleeping here tonight. I have an early morning program tomorrow. But I, but I never planned on sleeping here tonight. Haven't you been listening? Listen, I do not want you to come here tomorrow and you tell me that the reason of you being late is due to traffic. So this is not up for discussion. Okay. One more thing. I'll need you to move your things over to the house so you can start um, working from here. Move over? Well, I will have to think about that. I can't just move over to the house. Think about what exactly? In fact, why are we even having this long conversation? No, 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 no. You are to do my bidding. It's as simple as that. Listen, if you cannot take simple instructions, it's pretty simple. Walk out that door, walk out the gate, and never come back. You can kiss your job goodbye. And that's fine now. Hello? Is my dress ready? Oh, I'll be ready. Yeah. No, 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 no.
Hello? Hello? Hello, you? Yes, ma'am. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening. What happened? Um, she asked me to sleep over tonight, and she just left me here without showing me where to sleep or something. Uh oh, maybe she's angry because of what happened earlier in the day. Well, I already explained myself to her. It's okay. Have you had anything to eat? No, no. Come with me. Okay. Why is Romeo not back by this time? Unlike him. It's past 10 already. I hope he's fine wherever he is because he doesn't still live this way. Should I call him? I think it's the best thing to do. Let me just call him to know where he is. Bro, off or now? Go off or now? Oh, I'm doing okay. Fine, just that. I'm just getting you doing tonight. Just that. Where are you? Okay. I'm still here, I'm still here, man. Look, my um, MD's daughter. To be honest, I should stay back home. After coming late today by past eight, you see the kind of traffic that helped me today, or um, more bloody. I don't understand. You, 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 you left this house around. I think that was past six when you left the house. So how come you got to the office by past eight? You left early enough. Ah, uh -uh. guy. I said the road was unlocked. Ah, even me too, I was surprised. No, no, the traffic was not even funny. No, ah, no. You know, like experience that kind of traffic at all. It's okay, but yo, I hope you're coming back tomorrow. Eh, uh, see, she said I should stay back home. She said I, she even said I should move my things and come and stay over in the house. She said that. What is wrong with that girl? Eh? What kind of problem is this now? What's wrong with that girl? I don't know. I don't know. Well, I said uh, I, I'm going to think about it. Well, she told me that I should use the gate. <laughs> it's all right. Um, I think at this point, um, just, just, just focus on the job, okay? Focus on the job. Just ignore everything she's doing, like I told you from the beginning. Just persevere. Like forget her bullshit. Focus on the salary. I tell you now. I did try. Just keep trying. Please. Alright, now please be careful, eh? Alright, bye. I know, good night, brother. I know. I gotta go sleep. Eh? All these rich men children. They will be taking decisions without considering other people's feelings. Oh, anyway, thank God it's fine. Wow, the Lord better check his angels because someone is missing. What a guy. <laughs> Romeo, he's super cute. He's all shades of handsomeness. So this is what his clothing have been covering all this while. Zara, Zara, you would do everything to have him. Ah, good morning, boss. What's the meaning of this? Why are you still washing the car at this point? Aren't you looking at your time? No, no, no. I'm just wrapping up with the tires. Um, I don't care whatever you're doing. Just leave whatever and come inside. You have something to do for me. I'm saying now, do not keep me waiting.
Ooh. <laughs> oh my god. Why is it this cute? Ugh, what is my own enemy? But he looks good. Ugh. Is he going to believe me if I tell him? No, I just have to take a look. Yes, I have to see him clothes. So I could size him up. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I did. Uh, yes. Mm, I. We, of course. We'll be going to the company, you know, in a few minutes. So I, I, yeah. I would like you to um, go to my wardrobe. Okay. Get me the two piece, the green one. Then match it with some shoes and um, lay it out here while I go run a bath. Yeah. Okay. Is that all? Yes. So excited, what's happening now? I get G's for you, my man. No. <laughs> no, first of all, I wasn't expecting you to return this evening because I feel you're gonna be sleeping there because you have moved in somewhere where there's AC. So I'm not even expecting to come back to this house. Like yeah, yeah, do any, just no, do but I don't talk about now. Okay, you know my man. I'm gonna clear me that. Uh, I'm a, what can't you have this one now? I'm going to ask you. I tell you that babe don't fall. Which babe? Which babe? That short game, huh? My mother, I'm sorry. You know what believe me? You know what believe me? Make I give you cheese, make I play. Play you cheese next time, Oh mom. I just did the wash the car today with my simulator and short. Just they try to arrange the car. You can't just they observe me from back on it. Just say, Nay, Lima, Nay, Lima. I just say, observe him. Let's see, no more. She called me to make I come out room. Hey. Okay, okay, okay. It's inside the one you. Oh no, you know, say my guy, you know, say hunger can, hunger is very powerful, eh? You get influenced for brain. If you make you they think upside down. Oh guys, leave them at a dish, I did sharp. I did give you, I did start to play you tape, what happened today? I said, it's okay. Mama, Mama, Papa, um, I spoke with Boyken on phone today. Eh? Hey, how is my son doing? Did he extend money? Ah, Mama, you are money. Calm down. Boyken is fine. He said he has secured another job as a driver. Huh? Which one is driver here? From company messenger to driver. Eh? When did you came and learn how to drive? 
Come on. Come on. Let him not go out there and kill somebody. All in the name of securing the next available job. Can you go and take me My only regret is sending that boy to the university. I would have used that money to build house for tenants and be collecting rent as landlord. Be careful. After all the money we spent on him, we invested on him to make sure that he went to school, he went to university. What are we getting? Eh? A driver and a messenger. Can you find out what you think? Can you find out what you Why are you two talking like this now? Eh? Papa, Mama, so the both of you want to tell me that you are regretting investing in your own son to replace that. Your own son that you gave birth to. Wait, oh. did your mother say we invested on uh, Ikena? Eh? When? Tell me. Mr. Babi what do you mean by we? We invested. Eh? Did we not both train him? Did we not both invest our money? You and me, when? In all the semester, he cannot spend the university. Tell me, which of them did you pay the tuition fee? Me and me. Yeah, yeah. Question. Even if I did not give him physical cash, though I know that I gave him money, but I gave him moral support. Yes. And it was my moral support that kept him going all through his university days. Till he graduated. You Moral know, support. How much money did I give? Hmm. Moral support. Can you equate moral support with money? Eh? Can moral support pay tuition fee? Can moral support buy textbooks and handouts? Can moral support pay hostel accommodation? Moral support. Oh, papa. Papa, mama used to give him a batch at those days. Oh. Yeah, I can remember very well. Tell him, then Sean, just remind him all the things that I gave him those days. Papa. Yes, so yes, Papa. Mama used to fry granite. Huh? She used to fry curry, huh? and she gives boy kenna food stuffs. Azo mangala, isio oroko, crayfish, azo mbasakwa. Eh, even ogiri, egusi. I gave him those things. Don't make my problem. When last did the both of you kneel down to pray for Boy Kenna? When last? All you do every day is to mock him, mock him, mock him, mock him, just for nothing. Same. I am not mocking him, and nobody is mocking him. I'm only saying the truth. Let me tell you. All I'm saying is that by now, he is supposed to be taking care of us. But he's trying. We are no longer children, we are aging. Eh? Tell me, university, 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 university. After spending all the money, Nothing came out of it. Messenger and a driver, but you see, we Mama! Any of you rap on my car? Allow me to talk. My son could not have an If not for some to your, your brother, we would be dead by now. Tell me how we would have survived. He's the one that is making sure that we eat. He's the one that is taking care of us. Eh? You know, say more, Mama. Can you feel better? After all the money, nothing. Somto, Somto that did not see the four walls of a university. What did he learn? Roadside mechanic. He is the one taking care of us. Hmm? Those that went to the university are not being fully employed. Look at Somto. Mechanic. He has a workshop. Eh? And he has so many boys working under him. Mama, you the both of you should always put Boikena in your prayers. Yes, he's the person of this family. Stop mocking him. He needs your prayer. First son without direction. Yeah. Or first son. Mm -hmm. Eat your food. Mm -hmm. You will not eat our food. Let's see. Let's let's catch up now. Go to Rome now. Now she say, Rome you. Eh? Are you serious? Eh? See you. Okay, <laughs> for the first time they get called my name. She was so nice, couldn't act nice. I'm like, hey, I'm like, hey, I'm like, hey. I think they did this one. She don't observe the boy now. Wait, 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 wait. When you started this gist, eh, I was finding it difficult to believe you. Okay. Yeah, but now you don't know the call. Okay, you don't, okay, now you don't know the system in Nigeria film. No, you don't know the system in Nigeria, you don't know the play. Ah, wait. So, <laughs> since it don't be like this, so hmm. what's going to be your plan now? What's hmm. your plan? 
plan, I don't plan things. See, as the girl, the fall now. I forgot to strike. Yes, now. Which? Uh, you know, someone with the group, eh? You do like action film where we're so. I should just use this word strike. I just remember that movie, Strike Back. Eh? Is this a joke? Now, for me to retaliate, Oga. Okay? You worry. You want you know revenge? Hmm. Revenge, I don't the plan, Titi. Titi, the come, King, the. See. Which one of the shares too much? Which can't pick him be this one now, God? Which can't be this boy? You know, they, for your dictionary, you know they overlook this. Overlook? You know they forget this. Oh, forget? Why you? You didn't forget things. I didn't forget, guy. You didn't forget things. See, maybe everything will happen. Oh, Come make a claim. guy calm down. Maybe everything will happen. You go more revenge. That matter what happened between two of them for past, not past. See, let me tell you something here. No matter what happens, please, I want to beg you, in the name of God, in the name of anything you hold sacred to your heart, please let that girl be. Allow that girl to just be on her own. Focus on your own job. How would you want to retaliate? You want, retali you want revenge? Strike backer. I beg so, no, no, no so, like that. so, so, as you did now, you don't forget other guy take the slap me at we. How they get take the stomach slap? They stop my parents. Okay, I know they let the get be you. Uh, she know they be anything. No matter what happens, eh? And no matter the kind of insult that girl has given you in the past, I am still standing on what I said before that you should let that girl be and stay focused on your own job. I know let them be. In fact, eh? Now, now we are they do with him, person, make I do. Someone said you should do something. No, no, I don't. Someone said you should do something. Mm -hmm. Who is the person? Because no you don't discuss anything. You don't know the person. I don't know the person. You don't know the person. I don't know I the, met person. the person today on my way to work early this morning. Just today, today, yes. then you meet the person. And you don't know what the person tell and you. The person advised me what I go do. Plan A don't even execute like this. Moving on to plan B. <sighs> now, now I know say Juju, they work. Juju, what they do for village? Because now that Juju won't bring you out from the job if they do like this now. Yeah. And they tell you the truth. Oh, you right met now. somebody today, mm -hmm. the person gave you an advice. Mm -hmm. And you have gone, you have, you've started already mm -hmm. without even informing or consulting me. He will they feed you. If I inform or consult you, you don't be waiting you go to tell me this now. Okay. Okay, I am this, I am still saying it. Whatever you have in mind, plan A, plan B, I am not part and parcel of that arrangement. Okay, stay focus on your job. In fact, are you sure she's aware that you came up this night? Soon to your brother, he's already erected his bed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and he told me that he will get married immediately he finished building. Eh? But something is getting married soon. Yes. And he's building his own house. my <laughs> father. <laughs> Have you seen it? Some thought did not see the four walls of a university. Just ordinary mechanic. But he's hmm? doing well. But those of them that said they are graduates, what are they doing? <laughs> Messenger and they're driving. Mm. If you ask them for money, they will not bring one naira. And I cost a coco. Mamuzukwala no zula. It is his time. Breaking our time will come soon. Story for the gods. Uh, were you not here, the two of you, when I told him to go and learn handwork and forget this university nonsense? Mm -hmm. But he played deaf. He refused. Papa. It's okay. Let me tell you something. See, this race is not for the weak, neither is it for the strong. It's just that time and chance happen to them all. Just forgot all this thing that's happening to Boyken now, now. Let's just be futuristic. We don't know tomorrow. Yes, we don't know tomorrow. Mr. Preacher, <laughs> preach on. I'm just listening to you. What did you say? The race is not for the weak, but for the strong. Okay? Man, I get in there now. Your brother is not strong enough. He is not. So you have to advise him. Forget about I'm a graduate, I'm a graduate. Only the two are doing nothing. Come oh, well, on, I will not do anything. Pack this thing away. Um, Pack all the place. I'm tired, I'm, I'm tired. Oh, yeah. Sleep mm. there since you're tired. Sleep okay, there. Now. I don't like this thing. You, you people are just treating Boykena like, like he's not your son. If I had known, hmm, I wouldn't have listened to that boy. He and Bernard are just frustrating. They are the, the two university graduates we have in this family. I wish I can make amends. I wish I can right all my wrongs. I wish Romeo can see through me. I wish he could see through the depths of my heart.
I wish I could just look into his eyes and tell him how I feel about him. Oh, Romeo. So many wishes. All because of you. What's going on here? What is going on here? Does it mean this fool has he gone to get me lunch? Miss Sarah, I was about picking the money before you stepped in. No. Why would you do that? Why hasn't he picked the money to go get me lunch? Where I'm from, you don't throw money to a man on the ground and expect him to pick it. Where you come from, huh? And where exactly do you come from? Oh, I know from the song. Where else would you come from? Tell me. This is the reason women like you find it hard to get married. How dare you! How dare you! You slapped me. How do you open your gutters to talk to me like that? Do you know who I am? Did he just look me up, down, hiss and walk out on me? No, 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 you don't even have to beg on that thing. You don't, you don't, you don't, you don't have to. It's not necessary. <sighs> A mere complaints messenger. Do that to me. He dares not come back. He's fired. Make sure he doesn't step into this company, this office, anywhere around this premises. I won't take this. <coughs> Zara? Zara? Aunt? What are you doing here all by yourself? Are you okay? Aunt, I was just thinking. Do you wish to share that your thoughts with me? I've come to realize that I've not been a good person. Oh! That? Yes, that. A lot of people think I'm wicked, just like my dad. I've told you severally. It wouldn't cost you anything to be nice to your fellow human being. But it just to go the way of your father. I think the best thing you should do is to apologize to Romeo. Tell him how nasty you have been and how irrational you have been. You know, he has kept sticking with you, irrespective of how poorly you treat him. Aunt, the truth is, I can't apologize to him. Then how are you going to right your wrongs? Because at this point, I don't know what made you to realize how irrational you have been. This is not you. That is why I keep reminding you how your mother died. Oh, yes. You have always, always emphasized on my mother's death. What? Is there more to her death? What are you not telling me? What is it about my mother's death? I would like to know, please. Just tell me. Once and for all. You want to know? Yes. Then come inside, let's talk. I don't know how I'm feeling right now. Your father has been lying to you. For years now, has never told you the truth. That is why I have come to tell you the story behind your mother's death. So that you don't suffer the same fate like she did. Have you ever asked your father why he drives himself with all his wealth? I did. And what was his response? 
Well, he simply just waved it off. Nothing serious. Down to a domestic staff as minute as a get man. He does not have. Aunt, you know that. He likes the simple lifestyle. He does, he's not cut out for stuff like that. <laughs> you know him already, so this, he doesn't want it. That is the more reason I have come to let the cat out of the bag. So that I will face his full wrath. If only I'll be saving your life. I don't understand. I thought your mother's death would have changed your father. But instead, he turned him into a very wicked and ruthless, hard hearted man. Aunt, come on. Why would you use such harsh words to describe that? That is a perfect description of who your father is. Your mother, I'm sorry to say this, with full respect to the dead, killed herself. What? I, I, hold on, aunt. I, 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 I thought that said she was in a ghastly motor accident. What do you mean? Are you trying to tell my mom committed suicide? No. Oh. Your mother went to the market and bought her death. Hmm. This? Hmm. Young? My beautiful wife, what is it? Did anything happen while I was in the office? Leave me alone. Come on, talk to me. What was it in your heart? Just leave me alone. What? What do you mean, what? You're not acting like you don't know what the problem is. You have abruptly refused saying anything to me. So how can I know the problem? Do you know the stress I went through to get this food? I eat stress. Are you not telling me that preparing a meal for your husband is like a problem? Yes, it's a problem. Do you know the stress of driving myself? The stress of opening and closing the gates by myself? I hate stress for crying out loud. In my father's house, I do not do all this. I have domestic staff who does everything for me. Well, you just have to get used to it now. Besides, you have one already. Hell no. I need a check in this house, a permanent one. The one you're talking about comes once a week. I need a housekeeper. I need a gate that will mount that gate. Well, I understand biking your father's house. He's unused to do all that. But you know, I just... I just came back from London. Where did you? So, getting domestic stars. I'm going to be no problem. Hmm? Yes. Thank you so much, darling. Thank you. You're welcome. So, can we give this a little more than Of course, of course. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Did you just right? Mm -hmm. You know I always like to see you smile. I know. <laughs> you just, uh. that smile is going to be useful. I'm glad you like the food.
Wie darf ich? Hey. Komm mit. Nee, Nein, My hobby, my life, my pride, my world, my heartbeat, the most beautiful woman in the whole wild world. <laughs> my handsome, it's a promise. It got your mother so infuriated. Your mother turned into a nagging wife. She automatically became a nagging and abusive wife. She nagged and nagged and abused her husband, your father. So we had no choice. As the family of the man, we had to intervene. When she refused to do anything in the house, Fabian did all he could to change his wife into a better wife material. But no. So, what was the family's decision? You know, she does not cook in the house. She buys food from eateries for her husband to eat. And at this point, she stopped buying that food. Her husband will come to the house without food to eat. Do you know your mother went to the extent of serving her own husband an empty plate on a dining to eat? What? That was how bad it was. So, after the family intervened, did she stop? What happened? Our visit, instead of making her change, aggravated the whole thing. She was angry your father involved a third party into their family feud. The whole situation between her and her husband got so bad. Until one night. Honey? Wow. Come, let's go downstairs and have our lunch. I had mine already. You can go and have yours. Oh, really? Yes. Um, but at least you can come and keep me company. No, I'll wait for you here. Are you sure? Yes. It's okay. All right. See you later. the name of the demon that has possessed you of late. Since you want to be listening to your family, they should come and be cooking for you. Mabel, you don't know how to cook. Fine. But at least learn how to cook. But no. Okay, tell me, what have you been doing all day at home? Question. Mabel, 
I am your husband. Except you have another one elsewhere. We need a chef in this house. You need to get a chef that will be cooking. I did not come to your house to become a chef. You used to go out to get food for me. So why didn't you do it today? Not anymore. So are you telling me that I'm not going to eat this afternoon? I don't know. I don't know. Excuse me, I need to go and watch this. Ah! I'm like crazy. I'm talking to you. What can you me? Is something wrong with you? Did you just lay your filthy hands on the senator's only daughter? And I would do it again. You just signed your death warrant. You are dead! Bet me! That love could be so cruel But now I'm drowning in the sea of tears It's true You were the one who stole my heart away But now I'm left here Empty and betrayed This love was supposed to be forever it was supposed to be you and I together She was a very beautiful girl. But what is beauty without a woman having a proper home training? The beauty is inconsequential. You all blame Dad. But I think Dad had his reasons. Yes, he had his reasons for going into that family. Dad needed the connections of the senator, who is my grandfather. Mm. And as at that time, he had it all. So that could be a very powerful and motivating reason. <laughs> Far from it, your father wasn't poor either. At that point, he just came back from the UK, where he went to back his doctorate degree from Oxford University. Even though we tried to stop the marriage, but it all landed on deaf ears. What happened to dad was love at first sight. Mom was a really beautiful woman. She was really elegant. And no man could resist her, not even dad. I see. Going forward from that time, your father agreed for mother to have all the domestic stuff. And she surrounded herself with all the domestic staff she could think of. Rubbish. What nonsense. You have kept me waiting in my own house. What is all this? Ekaite! 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 Madam, I need to go to Madam, I don't need to start to cook. You just want to start cooking? By this time? What is going on between you and Opaka? 
Is there something happening in this house in my absence? Madam, nothing they happen. No. Me and Baka will not do anything. Now, my brother, eh? Now, my brother will not do anything. No. For 20 minutes. 20 minutes. I was in my car while Joe was honking the car horn. It took Baka 20 minutes to come and open the gate. Sai. Hear me. Madam, no fix. Eh? No fix. Me and Baka will not do anything. Baka and my brother. They fire away, fire in fire. Are you okay? Are you mad? I came home hungry, hoping to get food to eat, and you're just saying you're about to make food. Are you mad? Are you stupid? In my own house, I'm going to struggle you today. What nonsense. Honey, what is it? Dust. John. John is sitting right inside the car. John. Any problem? Madam, have you gone nuts? Madam, did you just slap me? How dare you? How dare you question me? Have you gone bonkers? Were you not told my husband and I are attending my brother's wedding? Yes, I was told. Madam. You were told and you did not wash the car thoroughly. Madam, I washed this car. You did not wash the car. I did. Did you shut up if I slap you? He washed the car. I saw him wash it. He needs to wash it again. I'm not going to go to wedding with a dirty car. No, we are already out of time. You are late already. He needs to be washed the car. You need to be washed the car. Don't you know she's the only daughter of Sister Robert? Come on, get on with it. Go and wash the car. Okay. You saw me washed this car, follow me, didn't you? You washed the car. The car you washed the phone, polished? I actually you washed it? Don't worry, he's going to do exactly your way before he leaves this house. But you rubbish! Can you imagine the dust resting on a car he said he washed? Don't worry, he's going to rewash the car. We'll wait. I'm already waiting. Tossing on the class and statues of my father. And that stupid driver wants me to be seen in a dirty car. He washed the car, but he's going to rewash it. For heaven's sakes! This wedding is going to be in attendance with so many dignitaries. I can't possibly be seen coming down from a dirty car. Yes, I haven't told the driver that. Madam, she's daughter of Senator Mordo, the president. She doesn't want her treating anyone like a piece of trash. John, John, I'm late already. My friend, will you kickstart this car and take me out of here this minute? I can't wait anymore. John, what is keeping me? Please, sir. John, my Honey? Yes, what is that? Something has been bothering me. Okay, so what is it? I think Ekaite and Okbaka are having an affair. What makes you think like that? Only haven't you noticed the way they meander in this house? Their movement is very suspicious. Only I think your mind is playing tricks on you. Okbaka and Ekaite are related. How are they related? Are they siblings? I'm very sure they are bedmates. Honey, they are cousins. I still want to know what they do in my absence in this house. So how do you intend to go about it? I 
don't know, but I would I will find my way around it. Okay. Well, in that in that case, um I will do something about it. Okay. Okay. You okay now? Yeah, I'm happy. <laughs> it's my wife. Come, come, so come, 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 come. I mean, forget <laughs> about it, I see I'm okay. Good night, my love. Honey. Honey. Honey, you won't believe what I found out today. Did you catch them? No, I did not catch them. <clears throat> I was eavesdropping on their conversation and I got to know a kite has been overfeeding Okbaka in my house. How? You haven't noticed, after overfeeding that fool, he goes to the toilet every minute, complaining he's, he's purging, his stomach is this, his stomach is that. <laughs> you see? She has been overfeeding him with food and not sex like you think. Yes, you're right. I, I actually thought they were bed meats. <laughs> I should have known. No, no, no. You know, I told you it's not what you think. Those two are related. But how did you get to know this? Yeah, I heard them talking about their family and other stuff. Yeah, I should have known. I should have known. <laughs> you know, as funny as it may sound, um, Okbaka used to be a chorister in Ekaiti's father's church back in Calabar before they came to this place. No wonder. No wonder he will sing and sing and sing and never get tired. Ah, I get it now. Okay, okay, okay. Are you fool just going to stand here and mop at me all day? Who took my $1,000? I left $10,000 in the drawer in my room and some fool took $1,000 from it thinking I will not know. Who took my money? Madam, I did not enter your room let alone of seeing any money. If you did not, then who did? Two idiots. You must have conspired and stolen the money from my room. Madam, truth to my God, let me carry your money. Ask Ubaka, you be as in I'm carrying. Hmm? Ikaite, you there, mad? Me tonda, eh? Me tonda, we no gay brother, we no gay anybody at all, we no wear clothes. Fire that to your useless mouth. What did they worry you? Why are you going to curse your brother like that, Tekwano? You don't smoke. You don't wait. You don't drink, I can't. Now allow me to forget my hand for your face, you. Why are you going to curse your brother, Tekwano? I don't come understand why Madam Gondi accused us. They don't say now we carry money now. Madam, no fake so. No, we carry the money. And my brother will stand here and if he carry your money. Mm. Eh? We never see daughters before for our eye. At all. But you don't see dollars. I never see you. I mean, I never see dollars. If I say, Nayon, nah you nah can carry your money. Mm. Yes, sir. If you yes, say, that. you don't hide them for him, baby. Ekaite. Have you gone mad? Ekaite, how dare you suspect me of stealing? You're truly a fool that you are. Eh, I don't say I'm a fool. Oh. Eh, but no, we may carry the money. No, we my brother will stand here carry the money mm. too. My papa. Na pastor, he own papa na reference. So we we know we thief that kind of money. We know we thief for our family. Ekaite, reverend or pastor or Christian son whatever bogey ever. Bo go. Are you listening to me? So because your brother sings Christian songs around in this compound, that makes him a saint or what? Mm. Oh, that one can't make me say that. Me call the thief here. Christian dorm and pastoral bogey ever. You are truly a foolish. Why for my money? Madam, I didn't see any dollars. I mean, why would I want to debase myself because of money? 
John, do you know how much we're talking about here? One thousand dollars is a huge sum of money. Madam, I don't have your money. Madam Narayo, my spirit they tell me say na yo na enka the money. Mm. Eh? It, Madam Sasha, Sasha, well, well, check him baby, he get way in dong high. Like I say, I will decimate you now. Are, are you mad? Are, are, are you sick of that? Ekaite. Madam. Where is my $1,000? Madam. Madam, why you ask me this kind of question now? Madam, I never see $1,000 before. Eh? I don't know if you carry your money. And my brother here, yeah, no, if you carry your money. My papa, na pastor. Your own papa, na reference. Eh? You know if you carry your money. None of you want to tell me who stole my money. Madam. Oh, now, catch up. On your knees. Okay, madam. Sorry. Oh, your Since none of you want to tell me who is with my money, I will make you talk by force. I Because after they left, another set of domestic staff came. It was the house help, the second house help, that discovered $1,000 inside a drawer while she was cleaning the house one day. Hmm. That means she was searching for the $1,000 in earnest. Yes, she was. And they left the way they came. It continued like that until the last Get man, your mother maltreated. Served him sour food. You can imagine any baroka. Until she laid a curse on your mother that she will be killed by her domestic staff. What? Yes. Oh, oh, hold on. A mere common gate man insulted my mother that much and she did not arrest him? Yes, he was detained for weeks. After that, a girl came. Who was that? Your mother's personal driver. Ah. He was dark and ugly. In fact, hideous. Your mother unleashed her vile on him. Called him all, all sort of printable names. Made jest of him. You know, it was a combo. Collabo. Your mother and your father maltreated him. Because he was poor and ugly. They refused to pay him his salary, to pay for his, for his wife's cesarean section because she was pregnant. And at that point, your mother was pregnant with you. Father, please, I need your help. What kind of help? Uh, my wife is in labor uh, since, and uh, the doctor said. Uh, uh, she, uh, she will do one operation called Casse, 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 Casse Leto before she can deliver the set of twins. How do we come in the way? Uh, how you can come in is that I need the money. Uh, you know, my wife has not been able to uh, 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 have a child since now that God has given me a set of twins. Uh, uh, I can't afford to lose them. I need some money. 
Is your wife the only pregnant woman? I can wear the ugly bat. Yeah. I am also pregnant. Uh, may God grant you to deliver safely. Amen. <sighs> of course. I am having my child abroad, not in Nigeria. Please, we don't have any money to give you. You hear her. I did hear her. You know what? Just get out of here, you ugly man. I want to rest my husband. Okay, okay. You hear my wife. You can see she's pregnant. She doesn't need this drama right now. Just leave. Leave it. <sighs> but then you will like the drama. Then you will go. I mean, no, no, no. What's wrong with you now? Money is not good with me. I need the money. You know, Mego. Ah! You know, I see Mega Adron. Everybody on the bed. Get it. Look at him, Mega. Look at him. Ah! What is wrong with you? What is your problem? Money is my problem. Give me the money. Okay, okay. Leave my house this week. So where? We don't have any money to give you. Leave this place, you ugly man. Okay. Fine woman. Let me go. We don't have money to give you. Give me the money. I need the money. Eh? Your wife is pregnant. And now that God has money to give me some, some a set of tweets. You are the one to deny me. Do you want my wife to lose to, to lose her life because, because of money? Okay. Is it my first to give you money? Is it my first? Oh? Okay, come on, collect. I will collect it. Here we are. Imagine. Imagine what? Let me go. I will die here. I will die here. Leave my house this minute for two years. Two years. You don't have the money. Leave the money. Leave the You don't have the money. But you don't care. Fabian and Mabel have killed my wife and my twins. I will not take this lying low. I must avenge the death of my wife and my twin. Hmm. Who do I tell my story? Who will listen to my tale of woes? Who will believe that I have just lost Ngozika and my twins to death due to poverty? Fabian and Mabel, if you escape this, know that my name is not a gateway. Honey? Mm -hmm. Give me the right. Mm. Mm. This thing is sweet. It's sugary. No, it's sweet. It's because of your leaves. Oh, your mouth. Exactly. It's yeah. Fine. <laughs> Please give it a bite again. Mm. Mm. This is something else, you know. <laughs> oh, let me. Too sweet. <clears throat> Honey, you know. Sometimes I wonder where you got that ugly bat from. <laughs> you are very funny, you know. <laughs> but he's so ugly. Eke Kwe or what his name is. Oh God. I wonder why somebody would give back to such a man and then name him such a name. <sighs> ah, but um, it is an evil name. I know. Ah, what happens to sweet names like Tyros, Juliet, Amanda, Zara. God knows I will never give my baby such a name. Thank you. Hmm. 
Honey, this one you're busy calling the names of girls. It's like you know what you're carrying your own. Yes. I am carrying my princess, my mm -hmm. mini-me. But I want a boy and not a girl first. Oh, I want a baby girl. Okay, 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 fine. Whether baby girl or a baby boy, it's all fine. They're all blessings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, um, a boy, a girl, they are all blessings. Exactly. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Honey, are you expecting anyone? Not actually. Who is that? C come in! This ugly bat again. What do you want this time? You both have succeeded in killing my wife and the twins. No problem. I will not say anything to both of you. But God will judge you. He died? No, oh, they live. They live. But we did not kill them, did we? God will judge both of you. God will judge you. God will judge both of you. Come on, boy. My life is completely messed up. I am back to square one. No wife, no children. I lost Ngoziga and my two boys because of poverty. I watched Ngoziga as she battled with a life and I did nothing to save her even when she was crying out to me begging me not to let her die. I couldn't save the life of a woman. My aged parents struggled to marry for me. Hmm. I washed my own Ungozika. Breath at last. But my question is, why are some people wicked and heartless? How do Fabian and Mabel sleep at night? Oh, ugly bat. So this is where you came to hide and saw. Ekekwe or whatever your name is. You are not the first to have lost a wife and children the same day. So why are you behaving as if this is the end of the world? Madam. Don't mock me because of my predicament. What happened to me, to my wife, can happen to anyone. I reject it. I will not die a miserable death. Tell me why you are calling me. You don't have anything reasonable to say. Please allow me to mourn my loss. I will not allow you. You are a failure. You killed your wife. A Kulusha disgrace. Your likes should not become men. A man that cannot provide for his family is worse than an infidel. I can see you came to insult me. <clears throat> Walk out on me and I will make you regret your useless and miserable life. In fact, on a second thought, I, I am pregnant and I don't want you around. I, you disgust me. I don't want to be seeing you around. Get out!
rubbish. Nonsense. Monkey. You are going back to wherever you come from. You are leaving my house. I don't even know where my husband got you from. Imbecile. Short engine. Idiot. Coat. Simple instruction. You had to climb, climb to wash car. Monkey. Very ugly bat. What is wrong with this one? And why are you speeding? Ugly bat, why are you speeding? Why are you running to? You don't want to. My friend, will you slow down? But you allowed my wife. I, I said slow down, what is wrong my with you? My children die because of your wickedness. Ah. But of course, we die. What is wrong with you? I must avenge the dead. <laughs> For the pain you <laughs> do, <laughs> Fabian <laughs> cost me. What? Oh, you mean? Ikeke killed my mom? Oh, hold on. Hold on. Okay. There's something I don't understand. Because I adopted. Because I was just a seed in our home. And she didn't she didn't she she died. She didn't make it. So how how am I here? I don't get it. Your mother did not die on the spot. What did you did? Your mother had a little life left in her. So she was rushed to the hospital. On getting to the hospital, the doctors realized that she doesn't have much life in her. So they opted to do a C-section on her. With the help of your father, the C-section was carried out. And you were brought out from your mother's womb. Alive but very weak. But your mother passed out immediately you were brought out. Mm -hmm. Let mother's baby, and that is you, was just a seven month old baby. It was a premature. So the baby was put in an incubator. After two months, when we were brought out from the incubator, Fabian begged me to help take care of you. You know that's that. Broke your father. He died ten times over. He broke the family. In fact, he shattered the family. How did I survive the incubator? God. God. Yes, God showed you mercy. My love, you survival. And I believe God kept you for a purpose. Listen, I watched you grow into the woman you are today. I didn't want the fate that befell your mother to befall you. I don't want history to repeat itself. Even though I never met my mom, I miss her. You know, I I wish she was here. I, I I wish I wish I could just see her. Just look at yourself in the mirror. See your mother. Aunt, thank you. Thank you for everything you did for me. Thank you for everything you're doing for me right now. Thank you for standing by me, for sticking with me, even when I act irrationally. I always want you to be around here. That's why I want you to be nice to people. Show them love. It's not going to be my mom, you're self pride. Self worth. I love you. I don't have a daughter. You are my daughter. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. 
Who am I? Say something. Uh, I did. Please come, sit. Mom, I'm okay here. Romeo, please sit. I... I did send for you because I... I... I, I, I know I... I realize that Romeo, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for everything I've done to you. I know I've said too many nasty things to you. But now I've realized all my wrongdoings. I know I'm the most nastiest and foolish person on planet Earth. From the bottom of my heart, I'm, I'm sorry. Please, find a place in your heart to forgive me. Come on, Romeo. Please. I've, I've, I've come to realize all my wrongdoings. And I understand that you might not believe me. And I know where that is coming from. But sincerely, I am truly sorry. Please. Just calm down. Um, Romeo, please forgive her. You know, she has made some terrible mistakes in the past. Let bygone be bygone. Please forgive her, please. She's repented. Um, it's 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 fine, ma. Who am I not to forgive my boss? Please, you're forgiven. Oh. Well, okay, can, my, my name is, my name is Chizara, call me Zara. Oh, there's no way I can call my boss by her name. Look, my, I don't want to lose my job. This is my only means of livelihood. Please. Romeo, I promise you will not lose your job. But please call me Zara. Romeo, Chizara is like a younger sister to you. You are way older than her. Please, since she has realized her mistakes and wants to make a mind, oblige her. If she says she wants you to call her Zara, go ahead. Her name is Chizara. So call her the Zara, she said. It's, it's okay, Ma. It's okay. It's okay. Why am I not to forgive my boss? Please, but just please, stand up, please. Zara. Please, stand up. Zara, it's fine. Do you forgive me? Yes, yes, I forgive you, Zara. Please, stand up. Please sit. Zara Moya, sit. Thank you. Sit. I'm happy you realized your mistakes. I made amends. seem to get a hold of myself. The sight of this guy melts me like wax.
what is wrong with me? Romeo has finished me. <laughs> this guy is something else. <laughs> I can't believe I'm blushing. Like, I'm blushing. I'm definitely crushing on this guy. Oh. But the only problem is, how do I muster the courage to tell him how I feel about him? He would definitely not believe me. No. Not after everything I've done to him. But who will blame him? <sighs> oh, this guy is truly hot. You can't help it. Uh, take a look at him. Take a look at him. Oh my god. Did he just do? Oh. Definitely coming for you. You should have just told me I would have come to the kitchen to pick it up. No, I want to save myself. <laughs> it's, 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 it's. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. So, what is this? Jack. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You made this yourself? I did. Nice. Okay. Open, open, open. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Oh, this is nice. Really? Yeah, but it's more nicer because of the hand that comes in. Ah, please. <laughs> it is same. No, no, seriously. Seriously. Not I true. never knew it. It's good. <sighs> Bust my head. <laughs> oh, really nice. Sorry. What are you going to have yours? Are we over for you want water? Mm, I'm good. Are you sure? I'm good, yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Mm. Yep. Enjoy me then. Ah. Let's eat. Why is not watching you eat? Oh, you just went to come and see me. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. I'll join you, but I want you to be full. So eat, 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 eat. Hmm. I want to be full. Mm. Good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is really nice though. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm. Oh. Mm -mm. Uh. You know, some ladies need to come to you for, you know, some corner Please, <laughs> please. You're my exaggerating at this I'm point. Not, I'm not. It's really good. Uh. <laughs> Alright, have a little one.
So tell me, why did you give me your virginity? I mean, I never knew you were a virgin. Couple with the fans. Hey, you came from a rich background, your level of exposure and all that. If I was to be asked, I would never even think of it. What? Come on. <laughs> well, you don't need to worry your head about that. Judy, I was raised by my aunt. And trust me, she was really strict. Auntie Rose? Mm-hmm. Auntie Rose is your aunt? Yeah. And yeah, I was thinking she's your mother. Well, she's not my mom. Though... She took me in and she did more than what my mom maybe would have done for me. Wait. Your mom is late. <sighs> yeah, my... My mom was involved in an auto crash while she was pregnant with me. They had to operate on her and get me out. Why she was just seven months. What? And after that, she passed. Oh my God, I'm, I'm so sorry, I didn't know. I didn't know either until my aunt told me a couple of days ago the circumstances surrounding my birth. Hey, look. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about your mom. It's okay. These things happen. I know. But there's something else that bothers me. Okay, what is it? I'm scared. You're scared of what? I'm scared of losing you. And I might just take my own life if you ever leave me. Why would you want to take your life? Because I don't want to lose you. Are you promising me your commitment? You just coughed. The truth is, I love you. I've never felt this way before. I'm in love with you. I love you, Romeo. You love me? Mm -hmm. Or you're just using me to cure your urge? When the perfect guy comes now, you're just gonna knock me off. What? Yes. Is that you? Tell me, why don't you believe me? Look, the whole thing is strange. I was this guy you once hated his gods, who stood, <laughs> stood up to your, you know, your troubles. You always slapped around, and all of a sudden you. Oh, the hell is in love with me? Okay. Can we just let bygones be bygones? Don't bring up the past. I'm trying not to, but... Look, I don't know. The whole thing still feels strange. You know? Even to the point you give me something as sacred as your virginity. Tell me. I want to know why, because... I don't want to go to prison because of you. I know we're exactly sending you to prison. Your dad. My dad. Yes. He's far away. Well, he's definitely going to come back. Okay. That's not a problem. Because he's my dad. I'm his, I'm his only child. Come on. Mm.
Zara, stop. Mm. Now, stop. Who's that? Why are you asking me to stop? Come on. Zara, stop. Stop what? Zara, see, your sudden closeness to me is giving me panic. Meaning what exactly? I just don't want to get into Dr. Fabian's <laughs> bad book. Zara, look, Zara, look, I'm your driver. I'm the one who made you a driver. But this is against my work ethics. What was this? What's this? What's this drama about profession? What work ethics? Blacklist? What's that? What's all that? I just don't want to get into any trouble. Fine. Hey, come on now. Come on, it hasn't got into that. It's obvious Romeo feels nothing for me. He doesn't care about me. He doesn't love me. It's obvious I'm the one at the center of everything. Forcing him to love me. Pushing him to love me. Forcing myself on him. The sweet sex, though. <sighs> that I do not regret. <laughs> oh, I do not regret what we had in the bathroom, <laughs> in his bedroom. Even though it was my first, it was definitely worth it. Oh, Romeo. I wish you could just love me. Can't you just love me? My guy, it's actually fresh. You got soft. What did it happen now with this guy? I'm going to say you're fine. I'm going to say you're fine like this. I'm going to say you're fine like this. I'm going to say you're fine like this. I know they're not fresh before. No, you don't get your dream job. <laughs> Let's see, Chris. So, driving on a dream job. I'm plus, but my dream job now, <laughs> and the salary is times two, you're being double paid. See, yeah, make it very soft. Just me. I see why that girl told me to come and stay in the house. Eh? She's looking for the sex too. You I don't understand. understand you. I'm come not saying you don't understand. You come again. Look, she's using me. I am using her. They're all having fun. Oh, oh, you just cut out my head now. Make me understand <laughs> something now. What's going on? I don't oh, understand God, you. Calm down. I know, explain to me now. I want to know. Look, I enjoy myself now. Yes. Give the use me. Why are they using me? This is why I go to the bank. Uh -huh. Okay, you don't code now. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Have you. <laughs> I don't wipe the girl now. Hey, Let me even tell you, I even disvisioned her. Hmm. Huh. See, one day I was having my shower. He was sneaked into my room. I <laughs> sneaked into my restroom and held my bull out, bro. <laughs> she practically begged me to have her. Wait. And we did it. Romeo. I am I am I am dumbfounded. Like I am short of wet at this point. <laughs> you mean you have slept with the chief's girl? Oh, the girl has been begging for the thing. I had to give it to her. Hot hot. Hot, hot. In fact, after dinner, we did it again. <laughs> How you surprised me, yo? Ah, I saw them. Hmm. No. They give the girls the hot, hmm. Let me ask you. Are you trying to tell me that she has not been having sex? Huh. Bro, even me say if I was surprised. To tell you the truth, I was really surprised. She doesn't have a boyfriend. She has not even had sex. I don't even know. She doesn't have a boyfriend. She, doesn't have, she has not had sex ever. She has never had sex before. Yes. 
You mean to tell me that that elegant beauty with that big curvy waist has yeah. never had sex before? I was shocked to my bone marrow, bro. It is what it is. Hey. My guy don't go honeymoon. <laughs> my guy don't carry driver job at the honeymoon. I didn't tell you. <laughs> hey. <laughs> oh, my. My guy. My Anybody who don't admit you know nothing they do. I see him now. She feel the guy now. She feel all the, you know, all the softness. But meanwhile, uh, uh, let me beg you for something, eh? Yes, uh, uh, no matter what happens, please, I beg you especially, don't break that girl's heart, please. Uh, I think that girl loves you with everything in her. Just don't break her heart, please. Why not? I, I know they understand you now, Adizu. So. No, what I'd, this? I'd advise you now. Why not? Stop, stop, stop. See, I am as well. Why? Eh? See those things that girl did to me, eh? I will do it to her over a hundred times. But Romeo, that girl has apologized. I to beg, you. I beg, I beg. Drop this topic now. Can't you forgive Stop the girl? It's, if you've been over those things, please, please don't break the girl's heart, please. Okay, hey, don't do. We won't push you to come out. No, I beg. No, you bring anything. Come, no, come out. I beg. I think I come. This girl, eh? Hey, Barry! What's up, my call her brother for me? You need to talk with him. Ah? Hey, Barry! Call her brother for you. What do you want to call that boy for now? Do you have a message for him? Why are you calling him? Must you know everything? Eh? Won't you just concentrate on this thing you are reading, whether you are seeing it or not? I'm going to tell you, you're asking stupid questions. Oh, oh, oh. If I don't have anything to tell him, will I. Oh, Ask to speak to him. Yes, Mama. Okay, we don't even have to pay for Mama. We have to pay for you. Yes, sir. Go and bring your phone so that you call your brother for me. Mama, you would have asked if I have credit. Oh. Huh? oh. Is there any time you have credit? Every time that I will ask you to make a call for me, you will say you don't have credit. What do you do with the money with the do send to you? Cham, cham, cham. Go and bring your phone. Bring your phone and call him. Both of you are the same. You don't have credit. He doesn't used to have credit. Eh? Can you feel the fact? Call him. Call him. I'm calling him. You cannot be that mean. What are you saying? Guys, look. I don't love the girl. I cannot love that girl, man. What's your problem? Why are you so uptight? Why? Why oh, am I so uptight? Yes, you are. Now you they talk this thing. Yes, now. Ma, take, take the phone. It's ringing. Hello? Hey, wait. He hasn't picked yet. Wait for him to pick. pick. Why is he wasting time now? Pick the call. I know you were well now. You've always been like this from day one. I beg, free major. Wait. Maybe I should call you now. Answer her. Tell her you love her. No. Ah, it's a baby. My sister come here. Ah, yeah. Thank you for me, it's okay. Mm. Hello? Uh, uh -huh. It's me. It's your mother, not a baby. Oh, good afternoon. Ikenna, just tell me one thing. One single thing that is good this afternoon. Tell me. Mama, this one you're sounding like this. What is the problem? Everything is the problem. Money! Money is the problem. There is no money in this house. You have to send us money for our upkeep. You have to send money so we can go to the market and buy this. We don't have anything, no food, nothing in this house. You can now, send money to us. Biko. Mama, money. Has some to stop sending people money? There he goes again. Some told this, some told that, some told everything, some told. We some told die for you. You can now, I'm joking. Some told, I'm going to don't you know that you are the first son? That you're supposed to take care of us, take care of everything in this house, including our sumto. Eh? Send us money, yo. Mama, Mama, when have you ever called me to even find out how I'm failing? All you do is to call for money. Eh? I keep comparing sumto and I. What's the meaning of this, Mama? Why would I call you? Don't you know that sumto, your younger brother, he is your younger brother, he is building, and at the completion of his uh, mansion, he will marry. So allow him to rest, Biko Moke. You are the first son for the first time. All to your duties. 
do your responsibilities. Eh? Do it for once. Let us bless you. Nico. You can, you can see my problem with, uh, with Mama. You can see the problem I have with Mama. What do they want? Eh? What do they want? Mama has never called me to find out if I'm okay or something. Let's say Mama is calling me money, money, money. Send money now. Mama knows Mama is feeling the vibe that you have entered where everything is working well. Send her money. You cannot be crashing the elegant, beautiful lady and she's not giving you money. But can send money to Mama? Oh, don't be saying a different thing. Because me, too, I need money. Can you find me something? I'm like, I'm very, very broke. Oh, he has called the call. Mama, stop oh. calling. Oh. Stop Why won't he call? Uh, it's not fair. It's not fair for you, brother. Boy, you can, uh, 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 Come on, shut, shut up! Shut, shut, shut up, Mechi Pubano! Oh. Who asked for your opinion here? Oh. Every time you leave uh, 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 something with everything. Mm. Okay, who's something? Mm. Let mm. him send money, Biko! Ah. What's this? What am I seeing? Ah. Ah. This girl will kill me of BP in ah. this house. What is oh. your problem? We didn't, we didn't just said 100,000 naira, he said 100,000! Are you sure? Number six. That is 100,000! Oh. 100,000! <laughs> you said this for me! Let, let me see, let me eh? see. Let me see. Wait! Wait! Wait. Ah. 100,000! 100,000! Hey! Hey! Oh. Hey! I know you will not disappoint me! Oh. We can now! Oh. I saw a song! Yes! Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 That's your song! That's your song! That's your song! That's your song! I know you will not disappoint me! 100,000! 100! Yes! You can now, I'm on the What can I do without you? Make my video hack. You can now, you can now, you can you can now, 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 <laughs> yes, she's in her room, but she's not feeling very well. Fabian, when are you going to be through with what you could to, to Colombia? Just that we're missing you already. Then come back now. Good evening. Good evening, baby. Let me call you back. Good evening, mom. Good evening. How are you? Um, I'm fine, ma. Um, ma, I've not seen my boss for the past two days. So please, what's wrong with her? I don't know. She, she, she has remained in her room. She doesn't want to come down from her room. She has refused to eat nor drink. I don't know what is happening to Zara. Ma, you mean she has not eaten for two days? Yes, she has refused to eat for the past two days. I've tried everything possible to make her eat. But she has refused to eat. And I don't know what is wrong with her. Okay, Ma. Please, can I go up and check, check her? Why not? I, I, let me see if I could ask her. Maybe, maybe she could tell me. Please do, because I'm tired. Okay, Ma, I'll be right back. Please, Zara, I'm here. What is going on here? I, 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 don't, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Just give me a swallow like this. You saw her house? Yes, I don't, I, I don't know what she drank, Zara. You don't know what he said? Sarah, please now, wake up. Wake up, please. What, Sarah. Are, you, what are you talking about? I don't know what she drank, Zara. Zara, Zara. Zara. 
Sarah. Sarah. Sarah, please, now. Oh, please. Mama? Sarah. Sarah. Why is she? Sarah. 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 Oh, my goodness. Sarah. Oh, he said he kept under my care. Who will I tell him? Get up now, please. I beg you, get up. Sarah, get up now. Get up, Sarah! Sarah! It was a dream. Thank God. Sarah. Sarah. No, you don't love me. I do. You and I know you do not love me. Why are you lying? I mean, bro, look, she can't get me to fall in love with her. Why? I can't even fall in love with such a girl. I feel like, let her give me herself, bro, look. I'll just keep having my phone and enjoy myself. Bro, I can't forgive that chick. Why sound like you don't know what she did to me? This has made me feel terrible, man. You know these rich folks, they need someone to teach them a lesson, bro. Look, there's nothing else you need to tell me. I just keep enjoying myself, man, doing my thing. I just love to kill in Swahili. She's thinking, man, the niggas fall in love with her. Bro, bullshit. Bullshit. I could wait. I don't understand. You know right now that I don't care. She can take her life for all I care, a miserable life for all I care. It's sounding like you don't know what that girl made me pass through. Bro, that make that girl made me feel like I was nothing, I was worthless. Baba, look, you don't do. I've, I've heard you. I've heard you, okay? I know what I'm doing. I'm doing my shit. Please, I beg, I beg, I don't die for all this talk. I don't care about the girl. I don't care about how she feels. I don't care about what she's thinking. I don't care about emotions right now. I just want to have my phone. Since she wants someone to sleep with, let's just keep having fun, you know? But talking about falling in love with her. Bro, I ain't doing that shit, okay? Okay, man, Alpha, I beg. Make me know you talk about this thing, man. I'll talk to you later, make her sleep. No, I don't reach. Alpha, Alpha, wait, 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 wait. Who said don't chop? Ah! <laughs> I don't know, I don't later. <laughs> I never thought that love could be so cruel. But now I'm drowning in the sea of tears. It's true. You were the one who stole my heart away. But now I'm left here, empty and betrayed This love was supposed to be forever It was supposed to be you and I Look at me, loving a guy who is on a revenge mission He just wants to retaliate <gasps> Oh God was what I did to Romeo so unpardonable? Why can't he just let go? I gave him money. I offered him my body. I showed him so much love. And not for one day did he turn down those offers. I just want to die. Please don't die if it will make him happy. Let me die, let me die. I saw the signs, but I ignored them all. Blinded by the beauty of follow, I took the fall. You, you don't love me, you just want me to stop. Yes, I, I do. Okay, okay, just, just drop this. I do, I'm sorry.
Yusuf have been all day? Well, we went sightseeing. Oh. I see. I, I'll be in my room. Excuse me. Oh. <laughs> Babe, <laughs> did you see the way Auntie Rose was looking at us? I saw it, but trust me, I'll talk to her later. Please, you have to talk to her. I just said I will. I don't want any troubles. That, that's why. Oh! I will. Okay. Let's go to the room. <laughs> My room or your room? Yes, of course. Ikena called me earlier that he'll be bringing his wife to us to be introduced. Ikena. Yes. Introduce a wife to us. Uh huh. A common driver. Uh huh. How will he get the money to marry? Uh -huh. Ikena, that is just driving a rich man's daughter. Yeah. Don't forget that Ikena is our first son. So, if he wants to get married, so be it. So that he can get married and raise his own family. Huh. Now, don't tell me that you are in support of this. Uh. I'm in support. Eh? I'm in support. Why should he marry before building a house? Uh -uh. It's better for him to build a house like his younger brother before he talks about marriage. Eh? Uh -huh. I, I don't like. I, I don't think it's a good idea. I don't support eh. that. Let him marry. Eh. Uh -huh. Okay. Let us look at it this way now. Okay. Assuming he gets married first, mm. where will he be staying with his wife? Is it in this house that he will carry his wife to? I don't want the, all these Wahala issues, or mother, daughter-in-law problem. Tomorrow now the wife will say that I did this to her or the other one. Mm. I don't want it. That's so it's better he stops everything mm. about mm. marriage. That is your own problem, Abby. That's your own problem. You don't know Iken now. You think Iken now will get married. I come and stay in this village with us. Where will no, he stay? Ikena's life is about to change. <laughs> about to change? Mm -hmm. How? How? Ikena is getting married to a rich man's daughter. Oh, <laughs> it's one of your jokes. Uh, you are pulling my legs, right? Uh, do I look like a joker? Huh? Do I look like one? His wife is even pregnant. Uh huh. Now nah, you mean it? Hey, I don't mean it. Hey, this my son is a <laughs> sharpshooter. Hey, he can not my son. No, don't go work. So many Hey, hey. Sharpshooter like his father. <laughs> nah. can you remember what I told you that time that he told us that he got a job uh. as a, 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 a driver to a rich man's daughter? Uh -huh. Can you remember what I said? Hey, remember. Eh? You said so many things that day, Monica. Which of the numerous things you said are you referring to? Which of them? No, don't tell me that you have forgotten. Mm -hmm. I say that if my son is wise, smart and intelligent, mm -hmm. that he will do everything to make sure that that girl falls in love with him. Mm -hmm. Yes, in that mm -hmm. way he will automatically mm -hmm. be a son-in-law to a billionaire mm -hmm. and we will have the money. Yeah. <laughs> no. And it has happened. Hey, Chivo! Monica! You are money. Wait. I'm Ronnie Nego. Who Just not like money? Me. You, Look if you don't it. like money, me, I love ah, money. Ah. Everything about me is money, money, Sound money. Of money. Uh -huh. money. 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 Baby. You know, we're having a mini year. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Mm -hmm. You can get to see the white baby. White? That so definitely look like me. No, look, uh, uh, uh. look like me. No, no me. The fresh from here, baby. Please. That was like him to me. <laughs> <laughs> it is Jake's back. Yeah. 
I want you to quit driving me. Big boy. Oh, don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to rob you of your job. Okay? Mm -hmm. I just want us to be equals. I want you to be your own man. Babe, look, I understand you. Like, I really do understand you. All you know, these things has to do with funds. Hmm. Did you just say funds? Yeah, funds. Do you know who you're lying here with? No, no, no. Do you know who you're talking with? Dr. Fabian's daughter. Please. I'm not just... Come on, give me some credit. I'm not just his only daughter or his only child. I have my own company that I run. Oh, wait, you don't say. Here in Nigeria and in the United States. Is it like... Uh, are you kidding me? No, I'm not. Okay, 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 okay. Let me put you out of your misery. <laughs> I am the owner of Zafa, which is a coinage from Zara and Fabian. Wait, wait, babe, calm down. Mm -hmm. Calm down, wait. Zafa is not the same company we go to every morning for your program. Well, yes, but we're not actually going there for a program. Yeah, okay, okay, let me explain. I was supposed to go to the United States to get a course done, but I just didn't want to leave dad all to himself. So I had to arrange for Dr. Stone to come and lecture me daily. <laughs> so I actually go there for work because it's my company. Wait. This is this is oh, this is so confusing. Wait, you you own Zafa Hope. I'm the CEO of Zafa. Oh, wow. mine. Wow. wow. <laughs> and guess what? I am making you the manager of Zappa. Uh, no, baby. I don't understand. How? How would I... Your father will kick against it. And what has this got to do with my father? Yeah, uh, you... Please. Zappa is all mine. I'm not talking about fat ventures. That's his. He can do whatever he wants to do with his company. But for Zafab, you, baby, are the new manager. <laughs> baby, wait. This is, this is too much to take in from a driver to a manager. Oh. Is this real? Mm, talking about being a driver, baby. I think you should go pick up your new car. The no. guy called me like, yeah. Babe, no, no, no. It, I think it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You're blowing my mind, babe. This is too much. Why? You deserve more. But you know what you've done for me. You changed me. You changed me from the horrible human I was into who I am today. You taught me to love. So I love you today. I love you tomorrow. And I love you till my dying breath. I love you too, baby. Mm -hmm. I love you. I love you. Mm -hmm. I love you. I love you more. Mm. Not my son. You can know my son, eh? That boy is very, very wise. I know it. He is just a typical Igbo boy. Hey! Oh, Mom Kobo. Hey! Hey! So now, Ikena is your son. The same boy you never saw anything good in. In your son. Christopher, Zupani Ike, rest and allow me. Oh. When did I not see anything good in my own son, Ikena? Mm. When did I not see it? Oh. Ikena is my son, a son that I carried in this my womb. I know you will not fall my hand. Mm. Never at all. Very soon, very, very soon, mm. he will take over and be in control. Just watch. Take over hey, and be in control. <laughs> control of what exactly? Tell me now. Do you eh? know what, Christopher? Eh. At times, eh, you ask questions like Mumu, Ooh. like somebody that is. Make sure you get there. Come on, shut up. Common sense. Yes, he will be in charge of the man's world. His rich is everything. My son will be in control. Hi. Hey. hey, Monica. Don't let this, your love for money, turn you to something else. Oh. Eh? Oh. Monica. 
money. Christopher, le kwa manya ke dun ke mero. What did I do or what did I say now? Money. Eh? All I know is that a lioness can never be got a goat. Hi. Okay. Wow. Ago gamore ra ago. Wow. Ago ge me kwa ka ago. Oh, tu akode na. They fell in love with each other. Love, true love. Hi. Chineke. Where did I even meet this man? Eh? What is love? Who is talking about love? Love chapter what verse what? Eh? Let that boy not fall my hands, so. Ya fall kwa my hands. Ya moro kwa nya kaazo. Who love help? Hey. Ine kwa ku love. Let him get money. You are talking about love. You are asking me who love help. Eh? You want that boy to go and steal so that they will lock him up in prison. Ha! Money. Ka. Chizara, on. What is going on? Because I've noticed some kind of very unusual closeness between you and your personal driver. <laughs> Aunt, please, can you stop calling him my personal driver? Besides, nothing. Love found me. Why did you allow that to happen? <sighs> Have you considered what this whole thing would generate into, especially your father? <sighs> Aunt, I don't know how it happened. I don't know when it happened, but all I know is I'm in love with Romeo. I love him so, so much. <laughs> what? As for my father, come on. I'm pregnant, and that's all there is to it. You're what? Pregnant. Hi! Because I didn't hear that. I finished me. What will Fabian think of me? He will say I have failed. She said, what have you done? Aunt, I didn't do a thing. I'm only pregnant. I didn't kill anyone. I'm only pregnant. I didn't kill anyone. <laughs> have you thought about your father? And what this whole thing will mean to him? You guys had better dress up. Uh -huh, you're going to face your father when he comes back. Because this roof will be let loose. Aunt, oh, come on. That's why I have you. Please, make him see reasons. Come on. No, you don't have me. Aunt, oh, please. For going to this extent, hell no, you do not have me. Aunt, oh, calm down. I'm still your favorite. Please, make that see reasons. I understand that dad has sacrificed so much for me. But come on, he has to move on with his life. I know that dad has been mourning my mom. I think dad needs to find love again. He's mourned my mom enough. This is the right time for him to find someone to love. <sighs> because everyone deserves love. Even my dad deserves to love. As for me, I want to get married and live my life. So I'm ready to get married to Romeo. So we can start our lives together. And that will be my greatest joy if I marry the love of my life. My first love. <laughs> so um, please talk to dad. Come on. <laughs> I, I hope you're not coming to touch me. Um, <laughs> stop, just stop. Stop! Will you talk to that for me, please? Okay. Mm -hmm. And the other manager I sent him to, what happened? To manage our new branch. Okay. And you, my darling, will assume the position of the manager from henceforth. You are to manage everything that has to do with this office <laughs> until <laughs> after our wedding, where you become the CEO and take over everything. Babe, mm. are you kidding? No, I'm not. Babe, no, babe, are you pulling my legs? 
Come on, you're the new manager. <laughs> Are you serious? I am. Hello? Yes, secretary. <laughs> Send him in. <laughs> Come for me. Yes, I'm going. Come here. <laughs> oh. Oh. Give it so tell me, story. do you like it? Of course I do. Look at me. Oh, I love a man in so. Thank you for all you do, my love. You're welcome. And yeah, I love you too. I love you plenty. <laughs> this is, this is, I don't know, I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> okay. Yes, yes, please. Ah, uh, yes. please. <laughs> please. You can now walk. <laughs> so this is you? Yes, mama. After how many years? <laughs> Hi, God, I thank you. Eh? You are looking good. Thank you, mama. Hi. Nemo. Ma? Get to email. Oh, dear mama. Eh? <laughs> um, you are Ikenna's fiancé. Oh, yes, she is. Yes. Okay. What a good day. What a good day. Ah, mama. What a good day. Hey. But you've seen me already. Don't what? worry. Turn good, turn good. Mama. <laughs> hey, Jimbo. <laughs> you can now, Mom. You have eyes for beautiful things. Hey, look at her. 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 Everything is good. Good. Factory fitted. Already made. Only you. Hey. No, eh? No. Thank you. Hey, how are your parents? Fine, Mom. Hey. Mama, have you been? I'm fine, as you can see. Uh, Mama is papa now, but also he, he is not. Mm. Oh, your father is fine, but he went to meet you no more. Nah. Oh, no, I mm. Okay, and Ebere? Ah, Ebere, that one. She went to see her friend, Oh, mm. okay. But don't worry, there will soon be back. I'm expecting them. Ah, uh, no problem, Mama. <laughs> Hey, where do I tell my brother his daughter has gone to? Hello, brother. Brother, we are doing very well. And you? Brother, something like that. Your daughter has found a friend. She has found a friend in her personal driver. I guess the man gets along very well. This is not coming from you, Rosemary. I am disappointed in you. I have to go. Your daughter has decided to be happy. At least for this once. She's not here right now. She went with her friend to go see his people. She went to she went with Romeo to go see his people, like I told you. Her personal driver. Fabian, can you calm down? Fabian, Chizaram is not a baby. She is no longer a baby. She should be allowed to make friends. Papaya. Papa. 
you, you know that I never knew that you have eyes for uh, good things. Uh, <laughs> Papa. Yeah. Like father, like so. Oh yeah. <laughs> hey, my daughter. Yes, sir. You are welcome. Thank you, sir. Mm. How are your parents? Uh, my dad is fine. Oh, that's great. Mm. And your mom? Uh, Papa, her mom is late. Oh, oh. yeah. Mm. Sorry, eh? It's okay, Sorry. mom. It's okay. Oh, right. Swear, swear, mm. eh? Sorry about that. But then I don't understand this. When are you people getting married? Um, Papa, we are waiting for our dad to come back from his trip. He traveled. But once he's back, we'll start a marriage right properly. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's a good one. We, we, we cannot do anything without him. Ah, we just course. have to wait. Okay. I hope we'll soon back. Uh, that reminds me, Mama. How is Sumter's building going? Hmm. You can now, Mom. Hey! If you see the house your younger brother is building, Eh? If you see the house, hey, Obuka, in fact, mm -hmm. you will faint. <laughs> you get faint. <laughs> Mama, how will I faint? Mm -hmm. Have you seen the kind of duplexes we've seen in the city? Oh, 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 oh. Eh? Uh -huh. <laughs> you see many duplexes in the city, <laughs> but you don't have any. <laughs> Mama, eh? slow and steady wins the race. Exactly. Uh -huh. <laughs> mm. That's my son. <laughs> um, because no, because no. I have a question. On a work while you will, on a man asking on your agent or the refusal. You can now let me ask you Is it this driving work, driving work you are doing that you will use and marry this beautiful girl and take care of her? You get up with one mother now, girl. Mama, <laughs> I'm no longer a personal driver. Yes. I am the manager of Zafab Hope Limited. Eh? Yes. Zafab and Hope. that's not all. I'm a car owner. Eh? Car owner? Mm -hmm. uh, wait, hold it there. I'm a last speed. Uh, okay, which type of car? Is it a motor kabu kabu or is it a Jeep? Or what I can say? Which one? Mama, I own a Jeep. I said it. I told you people that my son Ikenna will make it. He will never disgrace me. Hey, I know. Hey, he came on board. He came on. Mama. Hey. Hey. <laughs> hey. Uh, Papa, all thanks to my fiance. I'm actually the manager in a company. Oh. Eh? Trust me, he deserves it. Hey. No. You. Hey, God bless you. God bless you for choosing and loving my no, son. I didn't eh? choose him. He chose me. Hey, no, the papa know you when I go to go. I see he chose me. I'm not going to bless you. I love you. Fabian, listen. Your daughter will not be with you forever. She'll get married someday. Not so fast, Fabian. She's around is pregnant. That is the situation on ground now. Her personal driver, Romeo. Yes. Fabian, can you please calm down? Your grandchild is on the way. You're soon going to be a grandfather. At least that should gladden your heart. that I'm going to get married someday. At least so that you can move on with your life. You need another wife. You need a life. This is exactly what I was afraid of. 
I know Fabian, I know you will not take this lying down. Oh, I just pray things doesn't get out of hand, things doesn't get escalated. to um, his place, Romeo, Romeo's place. You did what? Sir. Sir. How dare you? Dad! You didn't have to do that! You're still talking! You're still <laughs> talking, idiot! What? You have failed already! I left her under your care! What did you do? You allowed this poor church rat to, to, to enter my daughter's life! Dad, I love him. Shut <laughs> up, idiot! Ijimawa, have you lost it? You're hitting everybody. Do you want to receive also? You slap me, I slap you back. Really? Yes, try it. We you do twins. what? You're not my elder brother. Oh, really? Yes! You want to try? Oh. And you? So, my daughter is not enough. Now you want to destroy my relationship with my twin sister. Now get out of here, idiot! No, sir. Um, um, no, no, Dad. Who's your dad? You call me dad? How can I be a dad to this, 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 this poor church rat? Who's this? Shut up! Now, if I see you anywhere near my daughter again. Oh. Hey, Jima? Now, get out of here, idiot. Get out! Dad, who's this? And you come back here, who's this? Huh? Come back here. Dad, 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 this is your thing, it's not fair, it's not from you, and that's it. You're still talking! Ha! Can you stop him with her daughter? And just talk to him, or talk to him, he's wrong, I want to be with him. He's still there, Dad. is the one I've chosen. Can you hear yourself? Huh? How could you choose a gold digger over the son of a governor? What? What are you even talking about? You heard me right. Look, Derek has indicated interest in making you his wife. Dad, I do not care about the name you just mentioned. I don't care to know. But the point I'm trying to make clear is this. Romeo is the one for me. The only one at that. Zara, I am your father. I know what is best for you. And I'm telling you, Derek is the best for you. Okay? 
I'm grown, father. I'm not a kid. I know what's good for me, too. And Romeo is the one for me. Fabian, yes. why do you want to change what God has predestined? Why do you want to change your destiny? Can you create one? Ain't no way. As a matter of fact, that boy should thank his stars that I didn't arrest him. I mean, what impudence. What could you have done to him? That boy makes your daughter happy. Your daughter's happiness should be your utmost priority. Fabian. Anyway, Zara is having an abortion. Never. That will be over my dead body. You are going for a DNC, and that is not up for argument. Mom, why do you want to soil your hands with the blood of your unborn grandchild? The first grandchild you are going to have is what you are asking to be aborted. Are you listening to yourself? I left this girl under your care. What did you do? You allowed her to, to get pregnant for a, a, a low life gold digger. I hear you talking. What you're doing is not good. That young man is good for your daughter. He makes her happy. And he is good for Zara. And that should be your concern. Dad, it will be in your best interest to accept Romeo's bride price. Else, I will leave this house for you, and that's fine. What's Since you walked in here, you've not said anything. What exactly is happening to you? Ben. What is it now? Speak up. Ben, I'm done for. Done for what? Hey. Chief Fabian is back. He came back today from his trip. He made you Fabian is back into the country. Yes. I told her. I told Zara. Well, she insisted. She said nothing is going to happen. Hey, I uh, will talk to him. Nothing is going to happen. Let's go. I told her. Well, you guys know the kind of person Dr. Fabian is. You guys know that man very much. Exactly my point now. That's why I said I told her. I explained everything to her. So now what would you guys do? I what? don't know now. I don't know. What am I going to tell my parents when I get back to the village? When they ask me of Zara and my own brother, what will I tell them? It's a, very, it's a very big problem. I'm even going back to Z square, square one. Listen, 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 hey. listen. Um, for me, I think... Chief Fabian has to really calm down from now henceforth. I mean, he has to calm down because there's a pregnancy in the picture. I mean, what would you do with that? I mean, what would you do? There's a pregnancy here. Do you know Chief Fabian? You know how mean he is. He has to calm down. I just said so now. He has to change his ways. Bro, listen up. Listen. No matter what happens, just know that I'm with you on this. Okay? Trust me, I am with you. Chisam, Chisam, you're hurting yourself so much. Remember, you are pregnant. This dress is not good for the baby at all. Please, I am begging you. Cheer up. Aunt, please let me cry. Let me cry. I have no more tears left. I just lost Romeo, just like that, within the twinkle of an eye. <laughs> Has that forgotten that we're expecting a baby? <laughs> Listen, <laughs> believe me, your father is angry. He will come around. For now, let him be. What sin did I commit? What crime that I, have I committed that is so unpardonable? Is it because I fell in love with a poor man? Is that so wrong? It's, it is okay. It's alright, trust me. Come, let me serve your food. You need to eat. No, aunt, I don't want to. I'm fine. 
crying? It's not about you. Your baby needs food. And I Let me have your dinner. You. I want Romeo. I want Romeo. And <laughs> see, you have to protect that thing that binds you and Romeo together, and that is the baby. Come and eat so that the baby will be fine. Have appetite for food. I don't want to eat. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Rosemary. Baby, I'm. Why is your face like this? Zara refused to come down for dinner. And <laughs> how is that supposed to be my business? I don't understand. You're not bothered about your child? I mean, your only child? I mean, because of her and her unborn baby. You don't care. Why should I care? Why is she so stupid as to stoop so low? To have something to do with a low life like that boy, Romeo? Come on. Fabian. Yes. We are the same in the sight of our God. Ah, come on. Whether educated, whether not educated, rich or poor, classy or not classy, we are all flat before our Creator. So get that into your head. Yeah. Let this body not choke you. Rosemary, there is something you don't know about that boy. He wants to reap where he did it so. You and I know that is not true. <laughs> Romeo, irrespective of his financial status, it's not like that. He has his self worth. He didn't plan to fall in love with your daughter. This thing happened. It wasn't planned at all. Rosemary, I know his type. He is a gold digger. And you have the gold he's digging. Unfortunately for you, he is the only man. In fact, the only one that makes your daughter happy. That Zara got pregnant for her personal driver. Should we kill her for it? Are we going to tie her on a stake and shoot her dead? Why are you behaving like this? Rosemary, if not for one thing, I would have disowned Zara. Really? Mm. I don't get it. You would disown your only child, your daughter, because she fell in love with her personal driver. Can you listen to yourself? Is this driver not a human being? No, what I'm asking, maybe the blood in your vein is white, his own is black. That is what you're painting, the picture you're painting. That boy certainly has not seen the last of me. Okay. I will make sure he pays for using her filthy hands to touch my daughter. My priceless jewel. But what exactly is he going to be paying for? That your own daughter seduced him. He didn't even have the intention to sleep with your daughter. But your daughter got him pumped down. And she went for it and enjoyed herself. And there you go, wanting to hurt an innocent soul. Continue. That is the way of the rich. What did you just say? Listen to yourself and think about what I said to you. So, Zara, Zara seduced that, that idiot, that low life. Oh, no wonder she was insisting that that boy must be her personal driver. Hi. Never thought that love could be so cruel. But now I'm drowning in the sea of tears It's true You were the one who stole my heart away But now I'm left here Empty and betrayed 
this love was supposed to be forever. It was supposed to be you and I together. But now you're gone. It's tearing me apart. It's tearing me down. I'm lost in a world of shattered dreams. Shattered dreams. I have no more tears left in my eyes to cry. Jesus. Jesus, you cannot continue like this. This is your bed, eh? She's around. Auntie. In as much as you love Romeo, you need to clean up, shower, change it to something more beautiful. Why are you looking like this? Okay, how long are you going to continue to be in this state? Auntie, if I can have Romeo, why would I need to look beautiful? For who exactly? She said, I'm your need food. Your baby needs food. Starving yourself at this point is not the best option. What? I'm not hungry. I have no appetite for food. Jesus, you have not eaten for the past two days. Neither have you drank water. Mm. You starving yourself and being like this? You're doing your baby a whole lot of wrong. Are you considering the baby at all? Auntie. If anything happens to my unborn child, I will hold Chief Dr. Fabian responsible. I will never forgive him. Chisam, your father is angry. Angry about what exactly? That I fell in love with my personal driver? Chisam, I know love can happen to anyone when the person least expected it. <sighs> but you know your father. He is not handling this love issue with kid gloves. He is very angry at you. In fact, he is disappointed at you. Over what exactly? Did I plan to fall in love with Romeo? I never did. And neither did he. It just happened. I know all that. You have to save this your energy for the worse. Your father is insisting you go for a DNC. What? Oh, yes. You are going to abort that baby and move on with your life. No. Please. I cannot have an abortion. You will, my dear. In two weeks' time, Derek will be coming to the country. And I can't afford him to see you in this condition. Hold on. Hold on, Dad. Who, who exactly is Derek? How, how come I've never heard about this Derek guy before now? Well, the governor called me while I was in Colombia. And he told me about the son. He said he indicated interest in making you his wife. Father, please. I have no interest. And Derek, I don't care about him. Please, Dad, just allow me. Allow me be with the father of my unborn child. Please. Can't you get it? I mean, that boy is not befitting of you. But he's the one I want. Why can't you just understand that he's the person I want to be with? I don't want Derek. I don't want anyone else. Please just let us be, please, Father. Well, I've made myself clear. You are going to get rid of that thing. And that is final. Dad. Dad. Dad.
I cannot. Afford to have bought my first seed? No. No. Zach, why are you so okay? Sitting here? No, you prepared? Come on, let's go. Dad, I can't do this. I can't, I can't kill, I can't kill my unborn child. Neither will I allow a low life like that boy to be the father to my grandchild. Irrespective of what you think of its father, the child is innocent. I want to have my baby. I don't blame you. This happened because I was away. But how could you? How could you, Zara? How could you stoop so low to get something to do with that ilk of a man? Now, let me warn you. I will not allow you to drag the name of this family along the mud. Dad, I love Romeo. Oh. And I will not stop loving him. Chizara, kill that feeling. Kill it. Dad, don't make me do this, please. I'll be in the car. Don't keep me waiting. I'm begging you, don't make her go through this abortion. I cannot endorse abortion, no matter what. I am begging you, don't put her life on the line. Oh, really? You can't endorse abortion, but you endorse her opening her legs wide for that low, for that low life. Fabian, don't make her go through this emotional trauma. She might not make it alive. She's your only child. I am begging you to endanger her life, Rosemary. I'm taking her to a specialist hospital. Okay? There are specialists there. They will carry out a safe jersey on her. Let's go! I can never endorse abortion. Abortion in all entirety is evil. A child's life is involved here. Your grandchild. My 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 needs. Can you can you move it? Let's go. Let's go. Okay. What are you still waiting for? What are you doing? Chief, we are, we are very sorry. I, I brought um, Romeo's father. He said he wants to see you. Please. That's, hey, Romeo's that's father. Hey. Good afternoon, sir. And you? His father. Huh? Will you get into the car? Let's go! Chief, I'm begging you. I'm kneeling down. Please, we're all kneeling for you. Please. There's a child in the picture, Chief. Please. Please, Chief. Chief. Please, Chief. No, I don't want to abort my baby. Please, please, please. Please help me. I don't want to abort my baby. Has it gone? Yes, Daddy. Next. Zara, I can see you're very happy. Of course I am. And you sure you know what you're doing? Aunt. Uh, yes. Look, Rosemary. Derek is the best for Zara. Not that good digger. Romeo is not a good digger and you know it. Mm. 
can't. I've moved on. Romeo should do the same. I remember when you were all over Romeo. Suddenly you have jumped into the arms of the governor's son. Who does that? Do you think you're doing yourself any good? Aunt, I thought I was in love with you, Romeo. Or I realized that I was just obsessed with his good looks, nothing else. Really? Mm-hmm. I thought you and Romeo had something going. What changed? A life. Zara, I just want you to know, to be sure of what you are doing. You worry too much, aunt. Come on. Uh, look, Derek is going to marry Zara. And that is final. Okay? Okay, but if you ask me, I will honestly tell you that Romeo is the best for Zara. Hey, let's not forget. How about the pregnancy? You were pregnant. Are you going to give Derek Romeo's baby? <sighs> um, well, aunt, I was never pregnant. Lies. Zara, you are lying. That this is a lie from the pit of hell. Fabian. What? Why are you hell-bent on destroying what these children share? What's your problem? Huh? Zara is getting married to Derek. And there is nothing anybody can do about that. It's my decision. I see. Baby. You should be in your office and not here. Any moment from now, I'll be having a visitor. Come on, babe. What's going on? I've been trying to call you, you know, picking up your calls. I don't know, you've been giving me straight faces. What's happening? There's nothing you should know. The truth is, you don't have to call me baby anymore because there is no boss. Babe, I don't understand. <laughs> Come on, babe. Are you trying to play a trick here or something? It's pretty simple. I fell in love with someone else. So please move on with your life because I will not done. Babe, I, babe, I seem not to understand you. you. You fell in love. Yes, actually, the governor's son, his name is Derek. I'm truly happy. in love with the governor. Did you use me? No, no, do not get me wrong. It's just that I realized that I was pretty obsessed with you and um, now that I've found love with someone I deserve, I, I just thought I should. I'm, I'm sorry the way it's working. You know what? Let, let, let. Let me do this. I'll give you a check for 50 million there. So you can start afresh. Fifty million there. You're offering me fifty million there. Okay, okay, okay. I know how it looks. Hundred million. That should give you a good start. What do you think? Honestly, I don't understand the delay. Ah, what do you mean? She's Ram and the king now. Mm. I thought by now they would have gotten married. Yes, Mama. I was thinking so too. We men of little faith. Oh. As for me, I think they are getting ready for their marriage. They are preparing. Whichever one. Mm. 
All I know is that they should hasten up. No time. And I can't wait. <laughs> Mama, we are why Take it easy. Uh -uh. That's Monica. Uh -uh. Don't tell me to take it easy. <laughs> anyway, you don't know my reason. Have you all forgotten that uh, Chisram is pregnant? Or are they waiting for her stomach to come up before they will wait? Mazibano, don't know what they are waiting for. Hmm. They should not do that too. I'm the chairperson of CWO Women. Eh? And I don't want people to think that my son got someone pregnant before wedding her. You know how people talk and the way they reason. Let them talk. Yes. People will always talk. You can't stop them. Papa, mm? please don't talk like that. Okay, have you forgotten that I'm a member of Legion of Mary and charismatic? Oh, have you forgotten? Oh. Gaga, Gaga, Mary. We don't want shame in this house. We don't, don't want, want anything that will bring shame mm. or that will make people to talk. Mm. And if you look at it, it mm -hmm. will be true. true. Mm. Ah. I better go inside and get me my, my phone. Mary Magdalene. Yeah. Go! Calling me Adam Mary. Uh -huh. Adam Mary. <laughs> Mary Magdalene. <laughs> mm -hmm. And you? You are in okay. hurry. Hurry. Yeah, I so know you are not even interested in that, not the marriage. It's the money. I want money. Oh, I, even you, I you want a suitable suitor to I come and marry a baby as well. So that yeah. I. Yes! Suitable suitor. When I talk about suitable suitor, a billionaire. No, the quantum love could be so cruel. But now I'm drowning in the sea. What I It's true. You were what the me? one who stole my heart. Don't, don't give me that. Or did you also give my baby to the governor's son? Well, I was never pregnant. Sarah, you can't tell me that. Both of us went to the hospital, you did a test. And you came out positive, you were pregnant, so you don't, don't give me this. What are you trying to say here? Okay. I... I had to get an abortion. Okay, I had to do it so I could be... Sorry, you did, you did what you had? You took out my baby, our child! You're sorry! I had to do what I had to do. For me to be with someone deserving. I'm sorry. I would never forgive you for this. You've broken my heart. Sorry. You're sorry. You've broken my heart. You pro you promised us forever. So what is going on? What is this? Romeo, you and I know that forever is very, very long. And I'm sorry, I can't walk this journey with you anymore. So I'm moving on. And I advise you to do the same, like I said earlier. You said forever, but forever came to an end. Living with memories I cannot mend. I am not here. Here. Two hundred million. Start over. You promised. You promised us forever. What is this? What do you think you're doing? What, what, what is this? To hell with your money. Romeo! What too far? Dad, I gave Romeo a 200 million naira check and he rejected it. 
In fact, he tore the check to shreds right before my eyes. Dad, it was all your idea. Now, I've lost Romeo. I've lost him. Now what is the sense of this prank? Fabian, to think you got your nephew, that is my son involved in this mess? Do you know what it feels like to fall in love with a girl yet you cannot have her all in the name of social status? Oh God, what have I done to myself? What did I do to myself? No, ask yourself. I never thought the love could be. I so want to follow the ways of my father. I've been telling you. But now I'm drowning in the sea. Dad, please fix it. Please. Just fix this. You were the one who stole my heart away. But now I'm left. For crying out loud, does it mean because one is poor, one cannot find love in the city? <sighs> Zara had the courts to abort our baby. And move on with the governor's son. See what it This is unbelievable. I was no. What I crave was to have my sweet revenge. And I ended up falling in love with her. Listen, this is not the end of the world. Oh, it is. It is been. I've always been with you. Listen up. You need to put yourself together. So after everything, Zara dumped you to marry the governor's son. This life is deep. I couldn't even imagine this happening to me. What am I going to tell my parents? I mean, what would I tell them when they ask? My life is going back to square one. No, what am I going to do? This is not the end of the world. It is true that you're back to square one. But you need to gather yourself, pick your pieces, and move with life. You have never been alone. Trust me. I'll, I'd rather just go to the village and just, you know, start on my life over there. What are you saying? How can you be bringing up the village at this point in time? See, this, listen. The shit has happened. Whatever that transpired between you and Sarah, it's one of the shit that happens in life. It has happened. You can't leave the city this minute. I mean, there are too many opportunities here. Don't give up, bro. Come on. Ben, I need my sanity. Please. There's no way I can let you go back to the village. It's not possible. So. In spite of everything I told that man, he still went ahead and pushed her daughter into the arms of that governor's son. Hi! Be careful. To think that these people deprived me the opportunity and the joy of being a grandmother. Hi! Hi. Rich people. They are so wicked. Yeah. They are mean. <sighs> Who could have believed that this will happen? Who could have believed that with all the lovey lovey, Shinaza and my son were playing when they visited, that she will have the guts, as in to leave my son for someone else? Hi! Huh? I, I never see it coming. Eh? Hi! Yes, women. Honestly, eh? they reminded me then of when I was in love with uh, Chris, when he married me earlier. Chris, you remember? Hmm? Hmm? Monica? Huh? <laughs> I remember. When I married you, Monica, you stated clearly that you came to eat my money. You forgot? There was no such thing about love in between us. Eh? You even told me that love or only be. Have you forgotten? Hey! Yeah. So I told you uh -huh. that I came to eat your money. Uh -huh. And you still went ahead and married me. Uh -huh. eh? Which money are you even talking about? Do you have money? Libra, I did not see any money. 
You don't see any money. So which money did you come to eat? Eh? You say you come to eat and you don't you, you don't want to suffer. What is not what you say? To eat my money. But uh, Ikenna, Ikenna did not try at all. He cannot fold my hand. Why? Eh? He would have collected the 200 million naira that girl gave him. Oh. Eh? As a payoff. About, 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 about 200 million. Oh, Not even 200,000. Or brought 200 naira. But 200 million. The girl has moved on. Hey! Now just look at. He came back here. Empty handed. No wife. No baby. No money. Obalaka. What did he come to do then? Mama, it's okay, it's okay. What is it? What, what are you even saying? What are you saying? It's not everything. Money is not everything, Biko. Uh-uh, that young lady broke brother's heart. And you want him to take the money from her. For what? <laughs> for what? With that money, heal his heart. Oh, for more, for my Mama. The money will even help your brother to recover from the shock. It will help him to, as a, he, it will make his life to be soft. I told you people earlier that money makes the world to go round. Money makes life easy. Money makes life soft. Money is everything. The completion of everything is money. Oh, Mama. what can I even do Mama. without money? You can't be serious, if Mama. It's me, eh? If it's me, I would have collected the 200 million. Get it for now. Yeah, come in. The door is open. Come in. What do you want here? What are you doing here? Good, good morning. There is nothing good about this morning. What do you want? Um, um, Elizabeth, or oh, what's what's your name again? Zara. If anything happens to my cousin. If anything goes wrong with my cousin, you will not get away with it. Be rest assured. Please, I am sorry for everything. Please. How can you sorry? Being sorry, how can it save anything here? You've been sorry for crying out loud. What will it change? I know. If only you understand the level of damage you have caused Romeo, you will not be saying that you're sorry. I understand, and that's why I'm here. I really need to see Romeo so I can explain everything to him. Mm -hmm. I need to start making things right. There are certain things I need to tell him, please. Okay, then that means you were expecting to see Romeo, isn't it? How do you expect to see him here for God's sake? How? Uh, I, yeah, I, okay, that's fine. Um, where, 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 where can I find him? Please, just... Don't, don't ask me silly questions. If you don't mind, I'm going to walk. Please just go back to where you're coming from. Please, I'm sorry. I just need to talk to... Oh my God, stop telling me that you're sorry. It doesn't make any difference. Go! I don't go now. Please, just go. Take your wallet and just go. Please, I'm not, I don't even have anything to do with you. Just go. Please. Oh God, where can I find Romeo? Um, please, please, right now. Please, I'm truly sorry. I'm truly sorry. My God, go now. I'm leaving for work. I'm late. Just go. Please, if you're sorry, go to the street and look for Romeo. Don't come here and come about me. I never thought that love could be so cruel. But now I'm drowning in the sea of tears. It's true. You were the one who stole my heart away. But now I'm left here, empty and betrayed. This love is to be. Mama? Brother? How are you? Oh my brother, how are you? Who are these folks? Who are these folks? Come on, thank you. I'll be very, very warm. Visit us, come on, come on. My side. My number one. Hey! Ah! Hey! Don't come close to me, oh. Look, Mama, you allowed this day into my. You allowed this way into my house. Papa, what are you doing here? Hey, 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 stick, 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 for me. Ah, what are you doing in my house? I, 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 I just, we, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I, we, I'm sorry. you are sorry for what, Kwan? What are you sorry for? I'm sorry for everything that, 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 that happened. It, okay. it, 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 it was just a prank. Shineke, man. You say what? It was a prank. What kind of stupid prank is that? You, it, you have the guts to come and tell me it was a prank. Do you know the level of emotional trauma I passed through? Eh? Do you know I nearly died? I never 
thought that love could be so cruel But now I'm drowning in the sea of tears It's true You are the one who stole my heart away But now I'm left here Empty and betrayed This love was supposed to be forever It was supposed to be you and I together But now you're gone It's tearing me apart It's tearing me down I am lost in a world of shattered dreams Shattered dreams Oh, be more I know that you've been through so much and that's what I'm here to say. I'm sorry. You're sorry. You are sorry. Sarah, you looked me in the face and left me for the governor's son. No, no. It, it, it's not what you think. He's not, he's, he's not even the god. I mean, he's my, his name is David. Hey. He's my cousin. He's, he's not Derek, the, the governor. So look at him. Look okay, it's David. It's not Derek. No, no. It's no. not Derek. Go and explain now. You're here looking at everybody. Oh, you don't know, understand what is going on. Yes. I am Zara Collins. She's my mom. <laughs> I can clearly see what is going on here. I can see what is going on here. So you all have ganged up, eh? You have ganged up against me. Eh? What is my crime? No, tell me. What is my crime? Is it because I'm poor? Can't you people leave us alone? Allow us Brit! Eh? What is it? See, I I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't I didn't want to do this. I I, I told my father that I'm sorry, but he persisted. He insisted that we just go. He told you were a gold digger. I, 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 I thought sorry. I was a gold digger. And yet you did nothing. Eh? Romeo. I take responsibility for everything. I needed to be sure that you truly love my daughter. And that was why I did what I did. So, blame me for everything. Please, Romeo. I am sorry. You are sorry. In fact, every one of us is sorry. I know we wronged you. We actually wanted to prove a point. And that point we proved. Please, just forgive us. You know very soon you're going to be a father. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, it's okay. Calm down, calm down. It's okay. 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 What kind of prank is that? Am I listening to yourself? It was a prank. A prank. Eh? Sometimes, you know what? Just I should never think that something can go on between between both of us. Because please, nobody should disturb me. Chris. What? Are you just going to stand there without talking to your son? Say something. Talk to him. Convince him. Let him go to those people now. Eh? Ikena, my son. Hmm? This is temptation. Hmm? Jesus Christ was tempted. And he won. Even the Bible, Job was tempted. He won. Now, you have been tempted and you have won. So, they came here to beg you. They begged you. You don't have to rest down to forgive them. Forgive them. They are sorry for what they have done to you. 
Let it go. Papa. Let it go. Papa. Get it, my Papa. son. Eh? Papa. Hmm? I would have listened to you. Huh? No, you know me. I will listen to you on everything. But you see, on this case, mm. eh? Mm. It is a no. Mm. No, Papa. Hey. It is a what? No. And nobody should disturb me. Papa, please excuse me. Brother, you can now. Brother, you can now. You can now. Ha! Eh? Hey! You cannot! You must go back to those people, though. Wait for those people, you go back to them. When money is involved, you are, you are saying no. Not in this house. You must marry Zara, whether you like it or not. Uh uh. Being in laws to billionaires. Monica! Don't money come me! Hey! The money is your own interest. We can, we can at least wait, please wait. We can now. Just find a place in your heart to forgive them. Especially Zara. She's truly sorry, brother. Ibiri, I love Zara. I love her so much. Why would she even buy into her father's idea in the first place? Eh? Brother, you have every, every right to be angry. Yes, you have every right to be angry. But brother, forgive Zara. At least for the sake of the unborn baby. She loves you so much. Look. At this point in time, Zara is in the past and I have nothing to do with the past, okay? Brother, please listen to me. You and I know that you still love Zara. Yes, I can even see it in your eyes. You still love her. I will say it and I will say it again. Like I said earlier, it is what? Over. Brother, where you can now? Where you can, where you can please wait, brother? Why are we here? To have a good time. <laughs> but we do have good times at home. No, I know, but you know, a little chill won't be bad. At least for you and the baby. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for bringing me out. You're <laughs> Ah, what is it? I'm just looking at how beautiful you are. Ah. <laughs> thank you for loving me. I should be the one saying thank you. <laughs> and thank you for everything you've done. Can you stop? You're making me blush. What is this? <laughs> What's going on? I have a surprise for you. Really? Yes. Please, where is <laughs> it already? I like surprises. When you bring really it, where is it coming from? Close your eyes. You just close your eyes. Okay. Okay? Yes, okay. Close your eyes. You're closed. <laughs> Can I pick a little bit? Just close your eyes, okay? So close. It's taking too long. Where's it coming from? Open your eyes. Zara, without mixing words, would you marry me? You didn't have to say please because of course I'll marry you. <laughs> oh, this is. Thank you. <laughs> I love you so much. I love you more. Thank you. <laughs> Beautiful. Thank you. I love you. I love you more. <laughs> and we love you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, thank you so much. You oh, made me so happy. Thank you. Made you made me so good. I love you. I love you more. Mm. Love <laughs> so cruel. But now I'm drowning in the sea of tears. It's true. You were the one who stole my heart away. But now I'm left here. Empty and betrayed This love is supposed to be Forever It was supposed to be You and I together But now you're gone It's tearing me apart It's tearing me down 